Troy Calhoun and the Falcons, their best start since 2003. Both these teams just outside the AP Top 25. And they meet tonight in Fort Collins on Academy Grounds. The Cowboys at 5 and 1 and the Falcons at 5 and 0 oh, as we approach the midpoint of the Mountain West standings. Look at this, Air Force and Wyoming. So much at stake tonight. Hi, everybody. Rich Waltz, along with Aaron Taylor, Justin Walters, joins us shortly. It's hard to oversell this. I mean, first, they're regional rivals, and rarely when they meet are the stakes this high, and they are high. Well, the winner of this game ends up in the driver's seat in the Mountain West Conference, which is now uh, divisionless, meaning it's an important head-to-head -head tiebreaker, but it also may have them ranked and give them an opportunity to be the highest-ranked Group of Five champion, which, of course, means New Year's Six. So to say that this is the biggest game in the Mountain West Conference so far to date would be an understatement. All right. Let's dig into Air Force first. The fastest man in the stadium is the Air Force quarterback, Zach Larrier. And if he gets to the edge, he can give you a lot of problems. So Wyoming is really leery about him. But, Rich, we sat in the stadium a couple weeks ago and watched him light up San Diego State throwing the football. I saw Mike Beeson, the offensive coordinator, down on the field. I was like, hey, I was shocked to see that. He said, so was I. But I kept calling passing plays. That takes an offense. It's already hard to stop on the ground. It makes it almost impossible to stop if they can throw the football as efficiently as they've done recently. Before we dig into Wyoming, one note. They're without Harrison Whaley, their fine tailback. Justin will have more on that later. One thing they do have, the secret to stopping Air Force. What does Craig Bull know that nobody else knows in this conference? That football is still a game of blocking, tackling, and leverage. It's a simple scheme, but they win at the line of scrimmage, they defeat blocks, and they run to the football extremely well. And he's got a quarterback coming off his best game of the year uh, in a thrilling win over number 24, Fresno State. Well, you remember when we saw these guys against Texas Tech, the staff said if Wyoming's going to take that next step, Peasley's going to have to step up. Well, guess what? That's exactly what he's done. And with Whaley out, his legs become a factor tonight as well. There's something else on the line in this game with these two coaches. What a great resume for Craig Bull in his 10 years. But guess what? National championships at North Dakota State, no Mountain West title. Troy Calhoun's been here 17 years. Oh, man, he's had a great run. No Mountain West title. And so these two schools and these two coaches can put themselves in the driver's seat for that Mountain West championship game with a win here tonight on a crisp October evening through the end zone. And let's go down to Justin Walters for that update on the Wyoming running backs. That's right, Rich. Yeah, as you mentioned earlier today, Harrison Whaley is out today. They're going to be without one of their best offensive weapons after he suffered a leg injury last week against Fresno State. I caught up with head coach Craig Bowl before the game, and he told me losing Whaley hurts because the team misses out on so many explosive plays. With Whaley in this lineup, Wyoming has three 50-yard-plus rushes. Without him, well, the numbers speak for themselves. They're going to have a lot of work to do. Starting in his place tonight is going to be Sam Scott. And Justin, Sam Scott had a starring role. There was no Whaley against Texas Tech, the number 24 team in the country. That's Scott on the first carry, and he's out to the 29. And of course, they beat Texas Tech in Laramie in double overtimes. Andrew Peasley now against Air Force has won two games, once with Utah State and once with the Pokes. Not a lot of quarterbacks on this planet that can say that they beat him twice, and certainly with a chance to be a part of a third victory, would put him in a class by himself. Scott had a big touchdown run, and of course his two-point conversion sealed that Texas Tech win. Peasley can run as well, but they don't want to expose him to hits like that. And that was Jaden Goodwin coming up from his strong safety spot. Offensively, Scott, what do we have with this running back? He's a very good inside runner, a converted linebacker, so he's got good vision, Rich. And there's a, 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 a kinship between linebackers and running backs because they play so close to the line of scrimmage. Vision is a thing that you have to do. So Scott is an inside zone runner. We've already seen that that's where he's going to use him. But can he have some success on the perimeter? That'll be a big story in tonight's game. And then our Papa John starting offense for Wyoming, and right away they're faced with third down and five. Peasley, four-man rush, steps through it, has good wheels, makes a move, has the first down, and slides down to the 38-yard line. 
Alec Mock, Jonathan Youngblood with the stop seven yard carry. This is Peasley's second run of the afternoon. One dialed run and him just improvising here. He's going to have to do this. There's going to be three or four more third down situations. Air Force likes to come after the quarterback. Peasley's athletic enough to hurt you, and that was a really important conversion there because Wyoming told us a key for them tonight. They have to start quick, and that would have been devastating to go three and out. And his legs really hurt Fresno State last weekend. Scott finds the hole, plows ahead, and that's what he does best is find that hole, pick up yardage. Air Force's defense fourth in the nation against the run. Alec Mock is a playmaker in the middle. He certainly is. He's a senior from Weddington, North Carolina. He's the team's leading tackler and a ball hawk. Now, Peasley, and I think if you're Wyoming, this may be too much Peasley. They don't want to expose him to too many hits. They like him on the perimeter where he did most of his damage against Fresno State. Yeah, and he took a hit there by Jonathan Youngblood, who Coach Calhoun said this guy's a football player, and 44 certainly is. Yeah, Youngblood and Mock are one and two in tackles in the middle of that defense. They're down, four down territory here. Yeah, they're just outside midfield. And Peasley will pull it and get to the outside on the perimeter into Air Force territory. Bellamy runs him out of bounds. A big gain of 17 more yards. And a really nice block on the perimeter by number 20, Ryan Marcus. We've seen it already. Peasley's legs have to be a factor. He's catching Air Force off guard a little bit both called plays and improvisation, but just a beautiful block out there on the edge. Air Force 39 yard line just underway. First possession. Peasley has yet to air it out. Play action, here it goes. Down the sideline, open catch there. That's Nick Miles, his first catch of the season. Nick Miles is just lined up in a double tight end look off the ball towards the right side of your screen. It ends up being like a mini wheel route and just finds a nice hole in the middle of that zone coverage. But this is a really nice balanced drive here for Wyoming, which is important because Air Force has won the last 19 games that they've scored twice. So if Wyoming scores here, this would be the start that they wanted. And a fast start in the first half. They were dominant in the first half last week. The throw is over everyone's head. A year Asante was in the middle, but it was a crowded middle. It they is a flag down. They were trying to run an RPO action to suck the backers up based off the run, and they did. He just hit downfield. Number 72, offense. Five yard penalty, replay, first down. And that's the challenge with a run. That's a challenge with a run pass option. It's a called run. The quarterback has the option to throw it. If you have an open receiver on an in-breaking route like he did there, it was just out of sync, but doesn't matter. The penalty doesn't help things, and now they're marching the wrong way. In the red zone, Peasley does some of his best work. Six of his nine touchdown passes have come from the red zone. This is the ninth play on this drive. Jamari Farrell now in the backfield for the first time. Second and 10. Peasley's got company, avoids the hit, scrambles to his left, makes a cut, spins around on his feet, and short of the goal line. But on the doorstep are the Cowboys. Trey Taylor made the stop. Rich is an offensive lineman. You have to keep yourself alive. The play's never over. Right now, you're off script, but look at that incredible block by Caden Barnett, the right tackle, giving his quarterback a shot. Touchdown, Cowboys! Of course it's Peasley. Brilliant on this drive. Rich coming into tonight's game. The red zone proves to be the difference maker. Air Force isn't ready. And this is one of the better offensive lines in this conference. And it was close, but the push was just enough to get the first score of the game. That is ideal if you're a Wyoming fan. John Hoyland, extra point. How impressive is that? 75 yards and a lot of it on the legs 
of Andrew Peasley. And the Cowboys on the board first. It's seven nothing. You're so much more than just a landowner. You're a gardener, a groundskeeper, a landscaper. Because you didn't settle for ordinary. Same goes for your equipment. Versatile, powerful, durable Kubota equipment. More goes into it, so you get more out of it. Are you sure you can handle this? You know I've always loved technology. I get that tech has always been your thing. But why this? Well, this technology protects the world. And I want to be part of that. So, Dad, what do you think? You want to be like me? Well, you can't, because there's only one brand. But you can recover like me, always, every day. They can help you recover from exercise to keep you proud. You want to stay proud, right? Treat your taste buds to the King's Hawaiian Pork and Slaw Sandwich from Firehouse Subs with slow-smoked pulled pork, melted pepper jack, and a sweet and tangy slaw, all on a toasted King's Hawaiian bun. For a limited time, only at Firehouse Subs. He hits his mark center stage and is crushed by a baby grand piano. You're replacing me? Customize and save with Liberty Biberty. He doesn't even have a mustache. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Yes! Enter for a chance to win a trip to see your favorite pro football team play with Five Hour Energy's Ultimate Fan Football Sweepstakes. Plus, you'll unlock a 20% off code for team merch at fanatics.com. Enter today. College Football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by The Exchange. Welcoming home veterans to their exchange shopping benefits. USAA, committed to the military community and their family members. And by Serve Pro, the number one choice in cleanup and restoration. Clear, crisp, and the flying objects above. Air Force Academy and these Air Force fans are a little bit stunned right now. They're not used to seeing teams march down the field, especially on the ground against their defense. The top 15 in the country on third down conversions, teams just don't come out of the gate like that on this, <clears throat> on this defense. Fair catch. Wyoming, first half last week. Look at this. It was against Fresno State. That's that's amazing. It, it was 40-plus plays where they just were on fire. Now, the flip side of this is they didn't score a point in the second half. So that's where this team can grow because the Air Force is a really strong second-half team. But if you're Craig Bowl, you're feeling really good the way your offense took the field. All right, the last time Air Force was on the field, their offense was unstoppable against San Diego State. Larry or the quarterback, play action rolling and looking and setting, gonna fire it deep. A shot there for Cade Harris, and it's incomplete. Right out of the gates, Colby Taylor on the coverage. Well, this is very similar to the game last year where Air Force threw four times in the first 11 plays, but you can see why Mike Thiessen dialed that up, and there was a little bit of contact there, not the most accurately thrown ball. Colby Taylor is a exciting, energetic player, but Air Force sending the message here early, we're not afraid to take shots. Second down and 10, and it's Michelle straight away, and the Cowboys are waiting for him. Shea Suyanoa made the stop. Papa John's brings you the starting lineup, and here is Zach Lair, arm, legs, dangerous guy. The growth and development, the ability, and the fact, Rich, that he was in a three-way battle and wasn't named the starter until 10 days before their opening contest. Where he's grown from that moment to now is extraordinary. And they've tailored this offense, which is so unique, to his skills, and in particular, his ability to get on the edge and go for big chunks of yardage. 
Air Force may have to throw it here. Two of their first three plays are passes. Third down and nine. Little dump off, and it's incomplete. And a three and out for the Wyoming defense. Harris again, the intended receiver. This is almost a repeat of how the game started a year ago. The one that Wyoming won 17-14. Pressure off that outside edge. If you're Air Force, you can't hold on to the ball. They've got to be quick hitters. He almost gets hit from the backside. That rushes his throw against tight coverage. Punt is away. Fair catch called by Caleb Cooley. And he'll make that catch right at the 30-yard line. Underway, biggest game of the year in the Mountain West. Wyoming has the first points, and they've got the ball when we get back. Ain't no secret in staying in your prime. You just got to want it, baby. Eating almonds can help you recover from exercise. Fellas, get after it. So eat your almonds. Oh, you're proud. At Firehouse Subs, every sub is stacked with mouth-watering meats and cheeses in every bite. Packed with big, bold flavors to answer every craving. Served hot on a toasted roll every time. Only Firehouse Subs. Guys, got hair loss? I know what you're thinking. Should I shave my head? Comb it over? Wear a hat? Just stop. This isn't 1970. Keep your hair and your confidence because Bosley, America's number one hair restoration experts, can give you your real hair back permanently. Check them out because they're giving away an absolutely free information kit and a free gift card to everyone who scans this QR code. Dude, you don't have to look like your dad because this isn't your dad's hair loss treatment. People all over the country trust Bosley because they're ahead of the curve. They use the latest technology to give you your real hair back. And the best part, Bosley's permanent solution is protected by the Bosley Guarantee. Let them show you for free how awesome your hair could look with an absolutely free information kit and a gift card for $250 off. Scan the QR code. Don't wait. Scan the code now and ask about the Bosley Guarantee. Here's your parachute. Certain it's okay? Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. So congratulate coworkers or say thank you with promotional products from 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. The game's biggest moments happen in the attacking third. I'm pumped. And on attacking third. Break down the best of women's soccer on the all new Galazzo Network, streaming on Paramount Plus. Temperatures expected to dip into the lower 40s, maybe upper 30s before this night is done. Wyoming, an impressive first drive, and it was almost all Andrew Beasley. Well, we knew that the plus one run game was going to be a factor, but this 20 plus yard pass was huge. But his ability to run and improvise is the added X factor. That makes it really difficult to defend. And then they just lean on the offensive lineman, Rich. Eight rushes, only two passes on that 10 play drive. Look at that, 42 yards. The throw was on the money. Last week, 19 to 27, three touchdowns, no picks. Drives with 20 more plays, 4.7 are the average points scored when you have a big play in your drive. When you don't have a big play in your drive, you get like one point out of the drive on average. So those explosives, the over 20 yards, that's a great illustration on how coveted they are by offensive coordinators. And that's why we showed it, because that was what Tim Polisek, the offensive coordinator, said had to happen tonight. We have to be explosive. You have to give him a lot of credit for working with smoke and mirrors at time and bringing this offense along slowly. But he's tasked with what do we have to do to find a way to win, and he's done that very well this season. And if you've just joined us, they're without Harrison Whaley, who's averaging 135 yards per game on the ground. That one a little too far out for Devin Body. And he makes a leap for it, but can't bring it in. This is a long third down. And a reminder that Armed Forces football is proudly supported by the exchange. This is a proud and very good Air Force defense. Part of their success is not being on the field a lot. They're I guess the recipient of an offense that is a ball control offense. And in situations like this where you have to bring a play, they like edge pressure, edge or middle pressure with the linebackers up the gut. 
Scott in the backfield. Peasley fires. That's a seam shot, and that's caught by Gillenborg. This is a talented group of tight ends, and John Michael Gillenborg is one of those. That's a first down. We're well, going to see some pressure off this outside right here. That's going to open up the middle for Gillenborg. You live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. They were waiting on the aggressive third down pressure, and Gillenborg and this tight end group, Rich, have really stepped up, and in my opinion, could be the same type of mismatch that the Falcons saw when they played San Jose State. And that was a first half in which San Jose State was a better team. Air Force dominated the second half, won that game, and here's Scott getting to the left side. He is a very smart runner, and he got a, a great endorsement this week from Frank Crum, his left tackle, who said, hey, if we're without Harrison, I have full confidence that Sam Scott's going to find the holes. And so far, he has. There's Frank Crum right there on the left side of the screen, 75, really playing at a high level. Scouts are very interested in this young man. They've come back to campus a couple different times. He's the alpha dog in that room. And this line goes as Crum goes. And if you want an endorsement in life, Frank Crum is a, a good place to start. Second down and seven. There was some movement there, and Air Force called it out. The officials were late, but they got it. I feel almost ashamed to call out offensive linemen for that move. Ball start, number 79, offense. Five-yard penalty remain second down. Jack Walsh, the right guard. It's a young offensive line, but they're playing very well. Yeah, and, and Walsh, notably, his dad, John, was a right tackle at Wyoming back in the late 80s and won back-to-back -back whack titles. But it's hard, hard to hold your water when you're here on the road. Crowd noise is a factor. These are two of the least penalized teams in the country. That one hurt Wyoming. Turns into second down and 12. Scott avoids the first defender and he gets back to the 45 yard line and so now a ambitious third down for this cowboy offense that doesn't dazzle you with stats they're 11th in the conference in yards per game they're ninth in the conference in putting points up but they play their best football in their biggest games the double overtime win over texas tech and the takedown of number 24 fresno state and this game has that feel to it On third and 11, Peasley hit as he throws, got it off, caught there. That's Marcus, avoids a tackle and is down to the 16-yard line. And Wyoming is clicking, 27 more yards. There was pressure there as well. You're going to see Air Force is going to try to hurry this throw. Great job by Bo Richter off the right side, causing some initial pressure. But Peasley's able to step up by time and with Richter around his legs, finds a beautiful shot to Ryan Marcus, the receiver that had the great block on the perimeter on the first drive. Inside the red zone now in an empty backfield. Peasley in the pocket, fires, end zone, and was looking in the corner for Gillenborg, and a flag sits at the five. Gillenborg indicating that he was held. He's a big body, Gillenborg, 6'6", 245. He's a mismatch on anybody in the secondary for Air Force. Personal foul, face mask, number seven, defense. Half the distance to go, automatic, first down. That's on their free safety, Trey Taylor, who led the team in tackles last year. And we showed you the graphic earlier. Neither of these teams are heavily penalized. But Rich, the red zone is one of the areas that Air Force defensively has excelled. That first drive was only the ninth trip that Air Force has allowed their opposition to get inside the 20, and they gave up a touchdown. Wyoming would like to strike hard here. A great opportunity for Air Force to try to force a field goal. First and goal for the nine. Scott's back in. And Peasley pulls. And Air Force was waiting. P.J. Ramsey to start. Trey Taylor to finish. Great discipline that time by P.J. Ramsey. He leads this team in sacks with three and a half, six tackles for loss. You have to be disciplined. 
to defend this offense, you have to be disciplined. But to play defensive line with the plus one run game, where clearly Wyoming has stated that Peasley's legs are going to be a factor, that was a really nice job there by 13. Caleb Driscoll, a fullback, is in with Scott in the backfield. And Scott, the former linebacker, he was a running back and linebacker in high school, recruited as a linebacker, moved to running back before the bowl game last year, has stuck it out, and boy, did he save Craig Bowl and the Cowboys in that Texas Tech game. He was terrific. And he's been waiting for another opportunity, and it comes here in the biggest of games. It's third and goal. What's Polisek dial up here? Does he lean and lean on the offensive line, or does he get Peasley outside with the two-way go where he can throw it or run it? Peasley changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He might like his matchup here at the bottom, one-on-one. -on -one. Fires it. It's Whelan in the corner. Caught it. And touchdown. His favorite target. Whelan's fourth touchdown. And Andrew Peasley and Wyoming are smoking hot. This is the growth of Andrew Peasley. He changed the play. He saw man coverage. Quarterback in the red zone. You're going to like one-on-one, -on -one, especially with the team's leading receiver, Wyatt Whelan. Extra point is good. Air Force second in the nation in total defense. And Wyoming is the length of the, the field, field twice. Peasley to Whelan. Tim Polisek loves it. On the next NFL Monday QB, can Mr. Irrelevant continue the 49ers' historic start? And will Josh Allen and the Bills be able to bounce back? All that and more when you go under center on the only NFL show all about quarterbacks. Monday on CBS Sports Network. The three for me only at Chili's serves up bottomless drinks, bottomless chips and salsa, and an entree with sides starting at just $10.99. Wait, $10.99? Oh, someone's gonna get in trouble for this one. This Chili's three for me is the best $10.99 you can eat. You wanna be like me? Well, you can't, because there's only one brand. But you can recover like me, always, every day. They can help you recover from exercise to keep you prime. You wanna stay prime, right? Where'd you learn to serve? Oh, I didn't serve, but if your spouse, parent, or grandparent served in the military, you can join USAA. Yeah, my grandpa did, so I'm already in, but I was talking about your serve. Oh. USAA, for the military community. We're kicking off game day with a Twisted Tea drop. We're surprising real Twisted Tea fans who love the smooth and refreshing taste of Twisted Tea hard iced tea. Real brew tea with 5% alcohol. Keep it twisted. Your paint is really bad. What? I said, best coffee I've ever had. Should have used Bear. Sorry, side wear. No, I said, should have used Bear. Today, let's paint. Right now, get America's most trusted paint brand at a new low price. Bear, only at the Home Depot. Andrew just saved big on a laser hair remover at Amazon. Because less hair, more air. CBS Sports celebra el mes de la herencia hispana. CBS Sports celebrates Hispanic Heritage Month. A Wyatt Whelan touchdown has made it 14 0. There's something to be said about perseverance. Right, Justin? That's right, Rich. You know, this is actually a game that Wyatt Whelan has had circled on his calendar for a long time. That's because he grew up just 15 minutes away from Falcon Stadium. His parents actually still live in Black Forest, and they're here tonight. Wyatt told me he had to request about 25 tickets for family and friends to see him play. 25 tickets also were requested by people outside of that group. A lot of people have been excited for him for this homecoming. You would think because he played for Wyoming, everybody would be wearing Wyoming gear, but not true. His dad, John, went to Air Force, and his brother also used to play for Air Force. But tonight, everybody's rocking Cowboys gear. Yeah. And you know what, Justin? It, it, 
This is his sixth year. He did not play much at all his first three years. Played some last year, and this year he's just transformed himself into a really nice weapon. Tonight's installment of Air Force's Greatest Legends brought to you by The Exchange, the other offensive coordinator. This is Mike Thiessen against Wyoming as a quarterback 23 years ago. Boy, did he have a day. Four rushing touchdowns, a passing touchdown. Air Force won 51-34. How about the shoulder pads on Thiessen? Those, those are pretty sweet. Those. And he is known in the Mountain West as one of the most innovative and creative offensive coordinators. He's going to have to dial up some positive yards here. And Eman, Emmanuel Michel, goes straight ahead. There's Thiessen. Boy, his game plan and the execution against San Diego State was nearly flawless. It was fantastic. I saw him down on the field before the game. I told him we were going to run that piece we just saw there. He's like, man, I hope we're up two touchdowns before you do that. It's been quite the opposite. So he's hoping his offense can get in, get in gear here. Larrier, first time on the perimeter, and that's the danger. And he's hit there. No flag. Papa John's lineups. All right, Air Force Falcons. Michelle has filled in the hole left by Brad Roberts leaving. And man, has he had a great start to his run. Those eight touchdowns are the same amount that Air Force opponents have gotten collectively all season. He's the first option in the triple option, and he's been a nice weapon for him. That's Eldridge on a pitch. Eldridge trying to get outside, and he stopped right at the 47-yard line. Wyoming defensively, they were outstanding against Fresno State. Easton Gibbs is the next in line to be an NFL linebacker, and they've got two of them in the league starting right now. He's a team's leading tackler. He's got great vision and discipline. We've got some things that we'll show you tonight about what he's tasked with doing to stop this offense, but he's a big reason why Wyoming's been successful doing that over the years. Larrier, option, keeps it, burst through. Larrier's 40, he's 30, and he's tripped up there. Sprawls forward to the 27. Zach Larrier. You have to have somebody for the dive. You have to have a quarterback, and you have to have a pitch man. That time, Cole DeMarzo was in no man's land. It looked like he was taking the pitch, which meant nobody was on Larrier, and now it's Air Force's turn to show you that their quarterback can run. One of the fastest men in the Mountain West Conference in any sport, the 200-meter champion in the Mountain West, indoor and outdoor. So he can absolutely scoop. Up the middle, Larrier, and down to the 21-yard line. He's had to be patient. He's had to wait his turn. Azik Daniels, a three-year starter, just had a fabulous run as an Air Force quarterback, and Larrier has started his career by going 5-0 and as a starter. And, well, Wyoming has beaten Air Force at its own game. Getting first down, playing ball control. And Air Force, interestingly, has had some explosive plays. Owen Burke in the backfield. And this is Burke straight ahead. And Burke busts his way down to the 15-yard line. That's a first down. Now, this feels more like Air Force football, this drive. No question. And look at the movement on the right side of that line. Really beautiful blocks up there. Ethan Jackman, the right guard in particular, running off the ball. There's just no quit in this unit that's coached by former Falcon Steed Lebotsky. This is one of the better offensive lines in this conference, if not the West Coast, and they're playing like it on this drive. Well, last two years, finalists for the Joe Moore Award, which is the ultimate award for the best offensive line in the country. I've heard of it. First, I thought you might have known. First and ten here. And this is Burke. And this is a touchdown. 15 yards. Air Force has an answer. Just some great blocks at the point of attack and coming around. And they just surround and gash this offense. Just a handoff inside on a simple trap play. And if you hesitate at all, you pay the price. That's the drive that Air Force was waiting on. Two explosive runs by Larrier. And then they slug it out with Burke up the middle. 
Extra point, up, and good. Troy Calhoun and the Falcons on the board. What a start we've had to the biggest game of the year so far in the Mountain West. 14-7, Wyoming. Get help reaching your goals with J.P. Morgan Wealth Plan, the digital money coach in the Chase mobile app. Use it to set and track your goals, big and small, and see how changes you make today could help put them within reach. From your first big move to retiring poolside and the other goals along the way, Wealth Plan can help you get there. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management. Bringing in a new roommate to save money, is that the plan? Well, we gotta find some way to save, so say hi to Glenn from work. Hey, that's my mom. Yeah, I think I have a much better plan. We switched to my plan from Verizon. We just pick our perks. Disney bundle, mobile hotspot. And save on everyone. That is a good plan. Glenn, looks like we're not gonna be needing you, so I'll see you at work. Oh, later, Glenn. Get my plan starting at just $25 when you bring your own phones. Plus, save on the best in entertainment when you add perks, like the Disney bundle. It's your Verizon. Old Trapper Beefs, last bag. You know there's plenty for both of you. <laughs> Old Trapper, what's your beef? Papa John's garlic sauce fans, we made the garlic epic stuffed crust pizza just for you. With that garlic flavor. In it, on it, with it. But you wanted more heat, so now <laughs> you can get it in spicy. Get a one topping for $13.99, only at Papa John's. When you have something to get done today, getting everything you need today is helpful. That's why Ace has free in-store and curbside pickup, or even same-day delivery from your locally owned neighborhood Ace. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Half a minute left, first quarter, 14-7, Wyoming on top. Tomorrow, 5 Eastern. This is going to be terrific. The NWSL's last regular season day, and it's whip-around coverage of all six games, all going on at once, battling for a playoff berth, and a quest for the ultimate prize, the Shield. Watch all the drama unfold on CBS Sports Network. Whip-around here, you've got Wyoming, Put two touchdowns up on two impressive drives, and then Air Force answers with an Air Force-like drive. And it's a one-score game with Air Force waiting on this Matthew DePoor kick. Third down conversions for Wyoming. They've had some good ones already tonight. Which is crazy because this is something, Rich, that the, the Cowpokes have struggled with all season and has been a strength of the Air Force Falcons. But they've been unstoppable. A combination of great play calling, good execution, and just hanging in the pocket and finding opportunities is why they've been so successful here. On third down, he's three of three, 56 yards. Air Force has 140 total yards. 80 of those yards are on their five third downs. They're killing it. Play clock got down, and Scott busted out to the 30-yard line. That might be the last snap of this first quarter. Both these teams pride themselves on ball control, on not turning it over, on winning the margins, on doing all the little things, and it has been a success story for both. Wyoming, their best start since 98. They are at five and one. Air Force, their best start since 2003. They are five and oh. On to the second, 14-7, Wyoming. Your pride and joy is measured in acres. Keep them looking their best with the Kubota lineup. Versatile Sidekick Utility Vehicles. The number one rated tractor brand for durability and 
owner experience. Professional grade mowers for a professional cut. It's equipment built with one purpose, to get the job done right. Papa John's garlic sauce fans, we made the garlic epic stuffed crust pizza just for you. With that garlic flavor. In it, on it, with it. But you wanted more heat, so now <laughs> you can get it in spicy. Get a one topping for $13.99, only at Papa John's. Yes! Enter for a chance to win a trip to see your favorite pro football team play with 5-Hour Energy's Ultimate Fan Football Sweepstakes. Plus, you'll unlock a 20% off code for team merch at fanatics.com. Enter today. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new clinically proven Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. After using Legsercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Legsercise Pro's patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating con Constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Legsercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. Hold it! Imagine a world with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. Ordering promotional products guaranteed to create memorable moments is an easy mission at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. When you need your sports news anywhere, anytime you want them. A lot of movement in the rankings this week. Big trade news overnight to discuss. A legend adds to their legacy. We'll bring you that breaking news right here on HQ. CBS Sports HQ, anywhere, anytime, all the time. After an eclipse, a partial one this morning, the sun starting to set on the front range, 14-7 Wyoming. Which numbers jump off the page, Aaron? Well, just how fast Wyoming has started the time of possession. We've covered a lot of Air Force games, and they take the air out of the football, try to drag you out to the deep end well into the fourth quarter. Wyoming's been able to flip the script a little bit, but the Falcons, as you would expect, Played with some heart, dug deep, and we're getting things warmed up here. Football sits right outside, right inside the 30-yard line. Wyoming in their own territory. Second down and five. Andrew Peasley has been brilliant with his legs. He's hit some big throws. To the air. Scrambling. And firing sideline. It's caught there. Whelan steps out of bounds. As Justin pointed out, Whelan's brother was a member of the Air Force football team, a kicker for a few years. His dad attended Air Force as well. C.J. Boyd on the coverage. One of the strengths of Wyoming's teams, their offensive line, their second best lineman's Jack Walsh. So enter Luke Sandy. Walsh left the game earlier, got injured on a PAT. Luke Sandy's a walk-on, but he's a player the coaches are really excited about, but he just stepped into a very big role, trying to fill very big shoes here on the road. Always a dramatic uh, arrival when it's enter Sandy. The first and ten. Peasley thinking deep. Hit as he throws. Oh, in and out of the hands of Ayer Asante. Another hit on Peasley. Peasley's tough. He'll stay in the pocket, but the right guard we just featured Luke Sandy gets pressed a little bit and then the linebacker green dogs him and gets in his face Air Force is getting late pressure one way or the other and those pinpoint passes we saw him throw last week are just outside the outstretched hands this time of Asante 36 yard line second and 10 Sam Scott in the backfield This is Scott. He hits the hole quickly. He, he's, he's kind of Brad Roberts like, right? I mean, same type of build and a guy that gets to the hole and gets five yards before you know it. 
keep your eye on these two players right here. Great job, particularly by Tulafonu, the center, of just creating that big hole. And then Wes King, the left guard, climbs up to that second level. That vision of Scott was perfect there. The eyes lead the feet for the running back. They miss Whaley, but Scott's played well here so far in the first half. Air Force third in the nation against third down defensively. That's not happening tonight. Blitz comes. Peasley with time. Firing to the sideline. And it is caught. Trayton Welch. Another tight end. The third tight end to catch a ball already tonight for Wyoming. Rich, and that's the sixth third down conversion. Wyoming is six for six tonight. But look at that big body. That's a mismatch. Peasley has plenty of time. Puts the ball on the money. There's not a team this season that's converted more than four third downs the entire game on Air Force. Wyoming is six for six here in the first half. And they're back inside Air Force territory at the 36. Jamari Farrell in the backfield. He's the again looking deep end zone incomplete. That was Alec Brown. The junior. Jerome Gayard, nice job in coverage. A little bit of play action. It takes a deep shot on first down, trying to hit one. Nice job of being in phase by Gaylord. Kearns finds the football. Man, Brown had a chance at it. But take a look at this, Rich. No big plays, explosives a week ago against Fresno State. They're coming out party, but tonight they've already had four. That was a catchable ball. And not a bad throw at all. Farrell now right side, and he squirts through inside the 30. They mark him at the 29. This will bring up another third down, third down and about three. To play tight end in this offense, you have to be a good blocker. Apologies for the telestration screen here, but keep your eye on 88 hands inside and just keeps his leg moving, pushing Mock out of the frame. That's what you want, an inline tight end that can control the line of scrimmage. Tim Polisek and this offensive line are feeling really good, and Brian Noor, the defensive coordinator, has to find some answers. Six of six, as Aaron pointed out. You see the damage by Wyoming's offense on third down, another third down. This time, it might be four down territory, but P.J. Ramsey and Alec Mock make the stop. It's going to be fourth down and about two. Great job by Air Force there. We featured Mock with the players' lines up coming in. This forces the field goal for John Hoyland. This is a team, Wyoming, that doesn't go for fourth downs very much, so this is an expected Expected decision in this scenario. John Hoyland's had a good year. He's 9 of 10. His longest 42. This is 45. And if can he bring it back in? No, it stays wide right. I thought maybe for a moment he would draw it back in. But Air Force gets a hold and a stop, and Wyoming comes up empty on what looked like a promising drive. 14-7, Wyoming. level performance at work and at home. Right now, save $20 on the VGA57 battery blower. Real steel. Find yours. Growing up in a military family, I saw firsthand how AFI supports our service members and families worldwide. When you shop at a BX or PX, 100% of those earnings go back to support quality of life programs that ultimately strengthen our resiliency and readiness to serve. I am Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Joanne Bass, a BX and PX shopper since 1993. This doesn't make sense. It does to me, Mom. You're a smart kid. Why do you want to do this? I love it. You know that. Okay, but why this way? Because. 
I want to take on the world's toughest hackers. And this is where it's done. So, what do you think? Papa John's garlic sauce fans, we made the garlic epic stuffed crust pizza just for you. With that garlic flavor. In it, on it, with it. But you wanted more heat, so now <laughs> you can get it in spicy. Get a one topping for $13.99, only at Papa John's. Enter for a chance to win a trip to see your favorite pro football team play with Five Hour Energy's Ultimate Fan Football Sweepstakes. Plus, you'll unlock a 20% off code for team merch at fanatics.com. Enter today. Welcome back to Wyoming, where we're going to show you a little bit about what Easton Gibbs has to do tonight. He's reading through the guards to the fullback. If an offensive lineman pulls, he follows him. If not, the fullback will take him to the play. But once he gets there, he's got to clear the trash, stay square, scrape, and make the tackle. Here's another situation with no fullback, but the motion. you got to be disciplined with your eyes. He doesn't follow the eye candy. He keeps his eyes right on the quarterback of Zeke Daniels, which is what he's supposed to do. This whole defense, Rich, is designed to funnel to the middle linebacker and the two defensive linemen. That triangle is the first line to defense against the dive. Then it goes out to the keep with the quarterback and then the pitch, and Gibbs is crucial to tonight's success. And nobody has had more success against this offense in the Mountain West than Wyoming and Craig Bowl. And no sooner do we do that than we see what Easton Gibbs does here. Keep an eye on him. He's locked in right on the quarterback. He doesn't follow anything else. He's not undisciplined with his eyes, but this is why he leads the team in tackles. He's disciplined, and he follows through on his assignments. Larry are stopped on that first carry. Fires to the sideline. Caught there. Jared Rosnos with the catch. Rosnos is close to the stick, but I believe he's shy a half a yard. This will be a short third down, which Air Force usually converts in their sleep. And it's always four down territory. They are first in the nation, in third down conversions at, at like a record rate, 58% coming into play tonight. It's incredible. And then if they have to go to fourth down, they're pretty dang good there too with a 70% completion percentage. Emmanuel Michelle is the fullback. And it's Michelle, oh, he's hit hard. But he falls forward and has the first down. Initial hit was right at the stick. The second effort, Colby Taylor finishes the tackle. Nice job of hitting it downhill in the hole right there. Excellent job. But we talked about Michelle and the role that he had to fill last year. But he is the fullback that can run with some power. And that's exactly what you need for this offense to go. This, this is an offense that's led by their offensive line. They need these guys to kind of get lathered up and lean on them a little bit. And I think they're ready to do that. That went back to the original line of scrimmage. Armed Forces football proudly supported by USAA. One thing about this matchup, it's such a big game. Troy Calhoun and Air Force have not faced the same schedule as Wyoming. Wyoming's faced and beaten two top 25 teams in Texas Tech and Fresno State. Air Force has clobbered their opponents, but their opponents have not been to that caliber of Wyoming's. Second down and six. Larrier, little swing goal and a big collision. Isaac White came flying up to break up that reception. It was held, but now it's third down. It's a good hit. Good hit. Great eye discipline to get somebody in front of Larrier on the bootleg. But that's what you want. As soon as he catches it, make him earn it. White, the sophomore, out of Pottstown, Pennsylvania. Fake on the pitch. Larrier's in trouble, and down he goes. Sebastian Harsh had backside support, never left his post, and Larrier ran right into him. Here he is right here, lined up directly over the 
right tackle. He defeats his block. He squeezes, keeps his outside arm and leg free, and makes a tackle. That is a teach tape for defensive coordinator Jay Sawbell. That's how you're supposed to play the technique on that situation. And now they force it. It's a, a fake. Fight. A fake. A direct snap. And it's Owen Burke. And Burke is inside the 15 and down to the 10. And Air Force brilliantly executed. Burke, the fullback, in the slot, goes 39 yards with the snap. Rich Air Force catches them in their punt return. This isn't punt safe. They see something they like, and it works beautifully. Great aggressive play calling by Air Force, completely catching Wyoming by surprise after the great third down stop. A little pitch to Eldridge, trying to get to the edge. Cuts in, leaps over a tackler. At the five, at the touchdown, Air Force. 17 yards. What a sequence. 39 on the fake punt, and Eldridge gets into the end zone. And Air Force can tie it with a kick. I wonder if there was a little bit of a hold right there. That should have been a holding call by Emmanuel Michelle. It doesn't get called and just some great running. And Air Force, secondary to the fake punt, is about to tie this game up. Boy, this went from a Wyoming stop on defense to feeling good about it. And it quickly went sideways from there. Two plays later, a tie game. Special teams, Owen Burke rambles down the sideline. And then Air Force, creative, Mike Thiessen drawing up. John Lee Eldridge, the third, 14 apiece. At IHOP, we're flipping up more than pancakes. With our new menu featuring waffles, biscuits, burgers, Benedict's, and more, there's always a way to put a smile on your plate. Only at IHOP. Download the app and earn free food with every order. Enter for a chance to win a trip to see your favorite pro football team play with Five Hour Energy's Ultimate Fan Football Sweepstakes. Plus, you'll unlock a 20% off code for team merch at fanatics.com. Enter today. Guys, got hair loss? I know what you're thinking. Should I shave my head? Comb it over? Wear a hat? Just stop. This isn't 1970. Keep your hair and your confidence because Bosley, America's number one hair restoration experts, can give you your real hair back permanently. Check them out because they're giving away an absolutely free information kit and a free gift card to everyone who scans this QR code. Dude, you don't have to look like your dad because this isn't your dad's hair loss treatment. People all over the country trust Bosley because they're ahead of the curve. They use the latest technology to give you your real hair back. And the best part, Bosley's permanent solution is protected by the Bosley Guarantee. Let them show you for free how awesome your hair could look with an absolutely free information kit and a gift card for $250 off. Scan the QR code. Don't wait. Scan the code now and ask about the Bosley Guarantee. Here's your parachute. Packed it. Myself. Certain it's okay? Mm hmm. Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Packed it myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. As expected, a terrific game so far with Wyoming and Air Force. Keep your eye on Easton Gibbs. We've been talking about how good he does a job of tracking, but right here he gets slung to the ground by Emmanuel Michelle. He would have easily been in position there to make the tackle, and with him there, then Isaac White can get to that outside and not get juked there. 
That was a huge missed call that hurt Wyoming that Air Force, to their credit, got away with. But those are the things that drive head coaches crazy, particularly with what's at stake here tonight. Reagan Tubbs getting ready to kick off. Wyoming scored the first 14. Air Force has scored the last 14. Time to take a look at our Dr. Pepper Fansville cam. And of course, Wyoming about three hours north. Air Force, a lot of turnout here, but the Wyoming fans are here in number. 185 miles from Laramie to Colorado Springs. All right, first and 10, Wyoming at the 25. Farrell. And Farrell's across the 30 to the 31 yard line. Ramsey and Taylor, the stop. Take a look at that, Rich. The first three possessions started out really well. The last one didn't end well at all. Ends up being a turnover on downs that Air Force quickly takes advantage of. And all of the momentum that Bowles' team had early on in the first quarter is evaporated. Settle down, start execute. Second down three. Farrell slips through and gets out to the 45 yard line. It's another nice gain of 14 yards. The center and right guard do a nice job on a combination block. And I'm really impressed with Farrell's vision and ability to get north and south. Peasley, Gillenborg, around the edge, knocked out of bounds. I haven't seen a team yet this year that uses their tight ends as well as Wyoming does. And it's almost out of necessity, but when you have big physical athletic tight ends, you take advantage of them. Peasley's been outstanding today. Five different receivers he's thrown the football to. Four of those receivers have 20 plus yard catches. Polisek's calling a great game and Peasley's delivering. Four completions to tight ends. That's the second catch for Gillenborg. Farrell this time smothered, wiped out there. James Tomasi, the nose guard. This was a nice job first by the second level linebackers blitzing and forcing Farrell to go outside. When he does, Tomasi's waiting on him. A tackle for loss on first down is the way you want to start new sets of downs as you start inching closer to the red zone. This is a young defensive line that has talent. They just aren't very experienced. That was a nice play by 62. Play action. Fired over the middle. Oh! And then dislodged. Gillenborg with the catch. And he goes down hard. The ball popped out. And that was Jaden Goodwin. Rich, what they're going to want to take a look at is a personal foul, possibly with targeting here. And now will downfield, number 57, offense. That penalty's decline brings up third down. That was a clean hit. Good no look there. And yes, you can clearly see Luke Sandy, the backup guard, was too far downfield. That's as clean as you can get. A nice job by Jaden Goodwin to hold up there and still deliver a blow with power. That's an example of the targeting rule working. Sam Scott in the backfield. Air Force feels like they've got momentum here. The stadium's coming alive, too. This is a big, big play here on third down. Peasley, four-man rush, flags are down, and they'll blow the play dead. Richter trying not to pick up a penalty as Peasley went down in his arms. And he avoids that flag, but there's one sitting right at the line of scrimmage. Prior to the snap, false start, number 11, offense. Five-yard penalty, replay, third down. Does third and 12 look different than third and 17 on your play sheet? Your, your chances of converting go down significantly. Man, and it, it was there, not by much. But that's the energy that comes with the crowd noise. They were a factor there. 
And that's what happens when you let teams come back in the games. This is just what you're going to have to deal with on the road. All right, timeout to talk about this third down and 17. One thing about this spot on the field. If John Hoyland comes out to kick a field goal, he's going to have the wind at his back. And that's the that end of the field, that north end, is where you want to be kicking on a night like this. We saw two weeks ago San Diego State's Jack Browning hit a 61-yarder from almost that very spot. So keep that in mind. I'm sure they'd like to pick up by five or six at least to get him a little closer than this. Yeah, he's had a great season so far, Rich. But you go back to last week, he's missed his last two field goals in the 40 to 49 yard range. You need about seven or eight yards here to even consider being able to do this. So look for Tim Polisek to call maybe a deep crossing route in the middle, an in-breaking route, something China, or if he's expecting pressure to go to the screen or draw game. But if you're Air Force, play coverage here. Make Wyoming prove that they can beat you down the field at this down and distance. Peasley's not had a good year throwing deep. He's just 2 of 18 in passes traveling 20 or more yards, including 0 of 1 tonight. But he's brilliant in that mid-range game. Peasley setting, little flip there. It's caught. That's Scott, and Scott has the first down. How about that? 18 yards. Just what they needed. This is how Peasley's improved. He's going through his reads. He doesn't see it. He doesn't panic. He dumps it off to the check down. And then Sam Scott does the rest. A big physical run knowing where the sticks are. And Wyoming converts the improbable. 28-yard line. Peasley's 5 of 5 on third down for 95 yards. And Peasley finds his way, slides in to the 21, but he started the slide back around the 23. So it's a gain of five. Breaking ankles out there. Talking with Troy Calhoun yesterday. Talked to him about the magnitude of this game. What's at stake being in the driver's seat of getting to the conference championship game, owning the head-to-head -head tiebreakers. Kind of downplayed it, said, oh, this is just another game, but you can see how fired up he is. He knows what's at stake here, and it just feels like this is a game where every possession matters. Scott in the backfield. Peasley quick throw. Wheeland up the sideline, and he stumbled. He was reaching for the stick, but he didn't get there before he stepped out of bounds. Right about the 20 yard line. Got to get to the 18 for a first down. I felt like the throw brought him out of bounds, and he's got to throw it to the inside so he has a chance to convert there. Sam Scott right at the stick. Youngblood made the stop for Air Force, and that's a first down. They move the sticks inside the red zone. By the hair of the chinny chin chin. Rich, we talked about it at the top of the show. Both of these teams are undefeated. There are no divisions this year, so the highest ranked teams with the best conference records go to the championship game. We could see a rematch, but you want to be in the driver's seat when this game ends. And I think that's really helpful for the teams in the mountain, the old mountain division, because those teams seem to be stronger in the first half of the season. Peasley now fires. And that's over everyone's head. Whelan was really boxed in on the sideline. Good coverage there by Air Force. And I'm not sure if Peasley was throwing this away or it just wasn't a good through a throw. And Jerome Gay Gaylord is on the coverage there. Good job of using the sideline as his second defender. And he's a super tall receiver. This is a pass defense it's fourth in the country coming into tonight only allowing 153 yards per game on average and the length they have at corner is one of the reasons Sam Scott you can tell he's got linebacker in him right I mean first hit doesn't bring him down no it doesn't and a linebacker just like a running back can you maintain your vision and still find a way to sort yourself through the trash and I, and I know you use that term lovingly. <laughs> the bodies. 
They're down six timeout injured player will return in a moment 14 14. You're so much more than just a landowner. You're a gardener. A groundskeeper. A landscaper. Because you didn't settle for ordinary. Same goes for your equipment. Versatile, powerful, durable Kubota equipment. More goes into it, so you get more out of it. Football there. Football there. Football everywhere! What? How is that a flag? He landed on him after the sack. It's roughing the passer. Huh. Okay, what if he hit him high? Roughing the passer. And low? Roughing the passer. Well, what if he couldn't stop his body like a human, so he ends up trampling him, and then he's like, oh no, and he tries to go back, and he tramples him some more, and he's like, I'm so sorry, I'm a buffalo. I don't know my strength compared to you. Wait, what? Come on, ref! Let the boys play! Yes! Enter for a chance to win a trip to see your favorite pro football team play with 5-Hour Energy's Ultimate Fan Football Sweepstakes. Plus, you'll unlock a 20% off code for team merch at fanatics.com. Enter today. Where'd you learn to serve? Oh, I didn't serve, but if your spouse, parent, or grandparent served in the military, you can join USAA. Yeah, my grandpa did, so I'm already in, but I was talking about your serve. Oh. USAA, for the military community. When you're the leader of disaster cleanup and restoration, how do you make like it never even happened? Happen? Fire it up, Randy! By being prepared for anything! Whatever comes your way, there's a pro for that. Serve pro. Like it never even happened. 219 left first half, 14 apiece. Wyoming and Air Force punishing run by Sam Scott here. And watch C.J. Boyd, number 19, who gets the brunt of it. Remember, Scott, a former linebacker, is 6'2", right around 2.30. And Boyd paid the price, the junior 6'1", 200. Let's go down to Justin for another injury update. Justin? Yeah, Rich, I just saw right guard Jack Walsh Wyoming go into the locker room. He's been battling a lower left leg injury. He missed all of the last offensive series for the Cowboys. Hasn't been on the field since. He had his foot massaged by some trainers, but still he was grimacing when he got back into three-point stance. So I'll keep you updated to see if he comes back out. All right, thank you, Justin. Another third down. Wyoming is eight of nine on third downs. In this game, this is a third down and a long six. I thought this game would come down to red zone and third downs, and we have a play coming up here that's both. And Wyoming very smartly bleeding this clock a little bit. They want to score here and leave Air Force little to no time who receives the second half pickoff. Peasley long count, pulls it, throws it, end zone, caught! Asante, touchdown, Wyoming! 14 yards, Asante just kept a foot down, and Peasley again strikes in the red zone. Asante had two catches for 17 yards last week. Incredible ability to track that football over your shoulder. At that angle is not easy to do stretches his hands out. He sticks the catch. They may want to take a second look at it. It looked clean to me. He got that right foot down and absolutely stuck the catch. And that was a pretty risky play call there on first down by Tim Polisek. But again, Peasley paid it off. He's something they haven't had in a while there. And that is just blazing speed and a guy that can stretch the defense. It looks secure. I don't know. It, it, his right foot comes up right as he's catching it. It's stuck there, and he's got his right foot in the ground. Good catch, but boy, was that close. Yeah, great work in the truck as well. Kick is up and good. Man, this is a great football game so far. Wyoming got the first 14. Air Force tied it, and then Peasley to Asante. 
seven point game. Cowboys. Do you? I wish for the amazing new iPhone 15 Pro. <laughs> Sean. Do you mean this one, the one with titanium? No way I could trade this busted up thing for one. Maybe stealing wishes from the birthday boy is not your best plan. Switch to Verizon and trade in any iPhone and get the new iPhone 15 Pro on them. What? Yep, and on an amazing network. And I don't have to ruin any more birthday parties. Yeah, that ship has sailed. Let's go get you that iPhone. Here we what go. The... Come on now. It's your last chance to trade in any iPhone for a new iPhone 15 Pro on us, only on Verizon. NFL football, Little Caesars in my lucky chair. I'm not changing anything. Morning, Daryl. Morning, Trash. Good night, hon. Good night. Then over here with the gross premium market. Yeah, questions? George Kittle, what keeps you going all season long? Little Caesars pizza, and of course my guy Daryl in his lucky chair. Yes! Did you hear that, Susan? That is because of the chair. Daryl gets it. He knows the four-quarter calzone from Little Caesars is officially delicious. Pizza, pizza. Go oh, save this goat and took over our office. And he's using it to send out medical bills. Good hands. Hospital bill for Prime. Yeah. Did you just say get? He's talking about expenses health insurance doesn't cover. Good thing Coach Prime knows about saying one time. Affleck. Because Affleck gets you money to help close that gap. Now, how do we get this goat out of here? Affleck. Meet one of my new homies. <laughs> get help with expenses health insurance doesn't cover at Affleck.com. Elephant would have been scarier. With nearly 6,000 stores and over 17,000 auto care centers across the country, Napa has America's largest network of parts and care. Here to be the fuel that keeps you firing on all cylinders. Right now at Napa, get a five-quart jug of Napa Full Synthetic Motor Oil for only $19.99. Or claim a prepaid $5 Visa card when you buy any Napa Gold Air Filter or Napa EnviroShield Cabin Air Filter. Getting closer to that time, 21-14. Nice score by Wyoming, but a scare here with Andrew Peasley. Yeah, center gets bull rush into him at the very end on that touchdown play. Fia Tulafono, keeping him healthy is critical. The one game that Peasley didn't play was their road contest against Texas. Coaches told us they felt like he kind of fooled them in the App State game, that he wasn't ready to come back in. With as much as he's had to be a factor here tonight running the football, you don't want him taking shots like that in the pocket. Credit Air Force for collapsing there in a big moment. Still a lot of time on the clock. Air Force, as we saw against San Diego State, ran a terrific two-minute drill near the end of the first half in that game into the end zone 56 days to go in the countdown to the army navy game presented by usaa tune in saturday december 9th on cbs sports but of course air force will tell you yeah that's all well and good but we have more <laughs> commander-in-chief trophies than anybody else mike Deason now in air force in a two-minute drill their approach with this offense is to get the first first down not get too wild but if you get the first first down, then you start to open it up. And they have all three timeouts. They're very conservative. And the thinking there, Rich, which is a little unconventional, is if we get that first first down, then we hit the gas pedal. But what's more important to them is possession. They don't want to turn the football over here by being careless, which is why you see them taking so much time between first and second down. Clearly, Troy Calhoun, with the way that this game has gone, Air Force is wanting to bleed leave this clock so it's second down in five and that will get the first down it stops the clock as they move the chains now they will open it up a little bit more coming up ram trucks halftime report these guys will open it up right away brent stover kevin carter cardale jones all coming up ram trucks halftime reports now they open up. Larrier escapes, caught from behind and dropped. Maybe a timeout here, 43-yard line, 37 seconds left. And yeah, Air Force takes the timeout. So will we. We're back in 30.
pro-level performance at work and at home. Right now, save $30 on the BG56 CE Blower. Real steel. Find yours. Sunset in the Rockies. Biggest game of the Mountain West this year. Wyoming on top. Ball control. Wyoming is winning it in a big, big way. But Air Force is on the move. 39 seconds left. First half, they've got two timeouts left. They're faced with a second and four. Down in distance and amount of time on the clock. It's a good time for them, you would think, to take a shot. You have to respect their throw game, and they're trying to get to at least the 30-yard line to attempt a field goal. If they can get this first down, the clock will stop, and it does. Let's see if they've got a play call, and they're quick to the line. It'll stop on the ready for play. This is where you maybe want to take a shot or a perimeter run to get yourself out of bounds. The official will start it on the ready to play, and it's ticking now. They Two timeouts get, is huge. Yeah, they got to get set, and so far, a lot of movement, no snap. First and ten. Larrier has a strong arm. That point's deflected, but still caught. They're going to have to burn a timeout here. Rillos, the tight end. Caleb making this, the catch off the deflection. This will be second down and six. Yeah, he's trying to follow in Cole Goodbow's shoes last week, who had an interception that sealed the game against Fresno State, which it beat right off the snap. That's just a beautiful job getting your hands up into the throw lanes to knock it down. Yeah, this. Uh, this interception by Goodbo as Fresno State rallied in the second half. Now what's crazy about this is Goodbo was talking to the defensive lineman. He's got sacks, he's got tackles for loss, he's got all these things, force fumbles, but he had never had an interception. So for that to happen to him in that moment, it was big for him and the rest of his teammates. But that's really a testament to their defensive line coach, Oscar Giles, who does a phenomenal job with that unit up front. Second down and six. Larrier fires to the outside. Right there, nice move. Rosnos up the field, and it's knocked out of bounds. That's in the field goal range, and there's still 12 seconds left. I watched Colby Taylor in the game last week. When he's one-on-one -on, -one on the perimeter, he has a knack for missing these tackles. That's terrible form and a beautiful pitch and catch by Air Force who are at the doorstep. They've got two shots if they want to take it to the end zone. And with those timeouts, they might have an opportunity to do that. One timeout left. They can take a shot over the middle of the field. You have to assume five seconds per play here, but you can't get cute. You definitely can't take a sack. Four-man rush. Lair takes his shot towards the end zone. Contact and flags. But six seconds left. Hawkins on the coverage. Hawkins was in position. Just poor technique. And how about this ball with the air? Perfect spiral. That was a beautiful throw. Pass interference. Number seven, defense. 15 yards from the previous spot, automatic first down. And that's the key, the difference between the NFL and college football. NFL, that's goal line. Here in college football, that's not a bad penalty at all. That may be a smart play by Hawkins. But it did cost them six seconds, so Air Force has one play here most likely before they attempt the field goal. Well, this has to be an end zone shot. Yeah, better be quick, too. Greg Bowles going to want his unit to talk about it. I mean, think about that play by Wyoming. Hawkins, right? Their second time he doesn't the see half. the football. He's got a guy in the end zone, and it feels like the ball is coming. So he takes him down. He knows it's only going to cost him 15 yards, and they're not going to get that time back on the clock. You'd love for him to snap his head around the other way. Rosnos, who's the favorite target of Larry, is looking in that direction. It's hard because you're making the contact, and they're kind of intertwined. Look, I, I'm, I'm of the camp. That's a smart penalty. Well, there's no question about it. It's not a spot foul to your point like you're saying in the NFL, but I would consider that a good miss. Like when you're on the tee box and you hit a drive <laughs> that hits a tree and kicks back into the middle, you'll take it, even though it wasn't what you were trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good analogy. And Air Force, I mean, do they have time for the end zone shot? You, if it's fast. 
You assume five seconds, one on one, but it's got to be a back shoulder frozen rope. A fade is too much time. Only six seconds left. Eldridge in motion. And they're going to hand it off. They've got the timeout. They got to get him down and get the timeout. One second on the clock with the timeout. Man, that was scary. Timeout. Michelle and, and Craig Bowl is contending that time should have run out. And this may be a review. Now, with one second left, I don't know if they can review and put time back on the clock. If it goes to zero, they can. But when it was live, I thought that they got it down miraculously with one second. But that was a ballsy and foolish call, I think, that time by Air Force. So DePour now from 24 with one second left. Kick up and good. So Air Force gets points out of the drive, but not seven. Craig Bowl and Wyoming, another great first half, just like last week when they knocked off number 24, Fresno State. And Troy Calhoun and the Falcons head to the locker room down 21-17. Biggest game in the Mountain West so far. And it has lived up to all of that. So we're headed to New York when we get back. 21-17 Wyoming. This is a customer that happens when marketers group all their customers together. MailChimp uses real-time behavior data so you can personalize email for every customer. Turn customers into customers with Intuit MailChimp. PenguinCustoms.net. What? Glad I get credit card fraud alerts from Navy Federal Credit Union. Yeah. Can't imagine where I'd be without them. Hey, that's mine! Stop that penguin! <sighs> Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. The Sonic 2 for 7 deal lets you choose from the Sonic Cheeseburger, Chicken Sandwich, or Foot Long Chili Cheese Coney. Any two for seven bucks. Because that friend that says they only want one bite never just wants one bite. Sonic 2 for 7 deal. Yes! Enter for a chance to win a trip to see your favorite pro football team play with Five Hour Energy's Ultimate Fan Football Sweepstakes. Plus, you'll unlock a 20% off code for team merch at fanatics.com. Enter today. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new clinically proven Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. After using Legsercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Legsercise Pro's patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Legsercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. Imagine a world with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. At 4imprint, finding the promotional products you need to create a memorable moment is an easy mission. Our expert team will take care of every detail to make your success a certainty. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. You are watching the Ram Trucks Halftime Report on CBS Sports Network. Welcome into our New York Studios Ram Halftime Report. Brent Stover alongside Kevin Carter and Cardale Jones. Biggest game this year in the Mountain West has lived up to it so far. Wyoming on the road up four. What are you seeing, Cardale? 
No, Andrew Peasley is Mr. Do-It-All right now for Wyoming. He's getting it done on the ground and through the air with 159 passing yards. Two touchdown passes and this dime right here in the back of the end zone. I'm telling you right now, there's no other place this ball could have been, right? Wyoming is keeping this Air Force defense on their heels. Eight for nine on third down. Peasley is five for five passing on third down versus a defense that has only given up four third down conversions all year, and they already have eight of them. Yeah, the best defense in the Mountain West coming into this game. That was Air Force, but not today. <laughs> not today. But, yeah, look, Air Force has got more than just their defensive problems. they got to find a way to get off the field because the time of possession in this first half, 20 of the 30 minutes of the first half going in possession and in, in possession going to Wyoming, that's not the way that Air Force typically wins this game. They're, they're the ones usually chewing up the clock, limiting time of possession for the other. Right now, they got to find a way to get themselves off the field on third down on defense, and they got to find a way to possess the football by converting third downs when they have the football. Air Force down 21-17, trying to get to 6-0. and Elsewhere in the Mountain West, UNLV took a 4-1 record on the road against in-state rival Nevada in the battle for the Fremont Cannon. The Rebels offense on a roll heading into this one, having scored 40 or more points in three straight games for the first time in school history and they would do it again to continue to break that record now at four straight Donovan Lester in the second on a third and three from 16 yards out Rebels 21 to 7 they would never look back Jaden Maiava launches it deep Ricky White 82 to the house taking the top off 28 7 and they win with a final of 45 27 the Rebels are 5 and 1 got more Mountain West action to wrap up our night 11 p.m. Eastern from Honolulu it's Hawaii in San Diego State so stay up late with us we got inside college football before and after that game when the guys and I return Notre Dame Stadium is the stop for the Irish and Trojans could USC's defense rise to the occasion for once Plus, the game of the day took place at Husky Stadium. What a quarterback showdown between Michael Penix Jr. and Bo Nix. Can't choose between watching your favorite Mountain West team on TV or going everywhere else you need to be? With the official Mountain West app, you don't have to. Watch hundreds of Mountain West games and championship events, live or archived, from wherever you are, all for free with the Mountain West app. Available on mobile and connected TV devices. Download the Mountain West app today. Risk takers, adventure seekers, optimists, authentic people with a fire in their belly and greatness in their hearts. You'll find them here in a place where the spirit of the cowboy lives and thrives. I am a cowboy. I am a cowboy. Soy vaquera. The world needs more cowboys. Old Trapper Beefs, camping catastrophes. So the kids want to go camping again. Hmm. Well? Yeah, let's go camping. Yay! Old Trapper, what's your beef? The Military Star Card is an exclusive benefit for the military community. No matter where on installation you use it, Military Star helps you save while you earn rewards. Save at the pump. Save on meals. Save when you shop your exchange in-store and online at shopmyexchange.com. The Military Star Card is available exclusively to the military community. Visit your local exchange or myecp.com for more information. Why do I choose a sleep number for my bed? So I can keep them all guessing. <laughs> so I know their game better than they do. So I can take my game to the next level. Because when your bed is this smart, you sleep at the right temperature all night. That's why 80% of NFL players choose the sleep number smart bed. Twisted Tea Superfans with a Twisted Tea Drop. 
Twisted Tea tastes like real iced tea because it's made with real brewed tea and 5% alcohol to kick off your game day. Twisted Tea Hard Iced Tea. Keep it twisted. With Sonic Trick or Treat Blasts, you get Oreo cookie pieces, Heath toffee, and M&M's minis blended with creamy soft serve. Three Halloween favorites without even having to steal from your children. Sonic Trick or Treat Blasts. In progress at the SEC, Auburn and number 22 LSU. Jaden Daniels going to hit Malik Neighbors. What a season and what a night these two are having. Neighbors down the sideline, 7 0 early. Later in the first, on the ground, up the gut. John Emery Jr. from two yards. Second quarter, LSU leads 20 to 7. The Tigers trying to get to 5 and 2, the LSU Tigers. In progress, ACC. Miami needs a bounce back, but got to face. Drake May and company, Kevin. Yeah, Drake May is going to go to J.J. Jones. Got his eyes downfield. Nice selection. Finds J.J. Jones in stride. 48 yards for the first down. And then a couple of plays later, May is going to find a Tez Walker for the 18-yard touchdown. This is Tez Walker's first touchdown of the season. Tar Heels with an early lead. 7-0. USC, Notre Dame. The Irish have lost two of the last three. Defense has been pretty bad for USC. Caleb Williams picked off Xavier Watts. Second interception only thrown by Williams this season. Irish take over at that point, Cardale. And Sam Hartman passed to Jabron Payne as he keeps his balance and goes in for six. Irish leads 7-0. It's now 10-3, Notre Dame the second. All right, massive game earlier. Eighth-ranked Oregon, number seven, Washington. Bo Nix going to go for it and put the game on ice. And it goes incomplete. Michael Penix Jr. down four with a football. Taking a shot. Going to find Jalen Polk for the 35-yard pickup. Washington in the red zone. Next play, Penix going for the end zone to Rome Madunze for the go-ahead touchdown. And he's got it. 36 to 33. Fourth quarter. Ducks driving the Washington 40. Knicks hits Terrence Ferguson for 15 yards. Field goal range. Oregon is in. Camden Lewis from 43 yards out. He misses wide right. Washington fans storm the field as the Huskies win 36-33. Kevin, your thoughts on the fourth down call, the opportunity to essentially end the game right there. Dan Lanning, this is what Oregon does. Not everybody agrees with it. Taking those chances in crunch time like that can either make you the hero or make you the goat. And not the good goat, the the bad kind of goat. And this was this is exactly what happened. I personally would have punted the ball away. Basically, that Washington had no timeouts left in the game, giving them the long field to drive with very little time left in a two-minute situation with no timeouts. I take my chances doing that instead of doing what they did and going for it. End of the first half, he went for it instead of kicking a short field goal. It happened again in the second half, so you leave six points on the board there. But again, I reiterate, this is the culture with Oregon. This is the type of the way that they win big games, but in this case, on this day, they lose a big game by taking that approach. Yeah, and you can always go back and look at that and say, hey, if you get the first down and it's over, but they don't, it's going to cost you. The way my defense was playing up until that point, having that big stop on third, on fourth and go, a drive or two before that, having that momentum, I would rather go against Michael Penix Jr. and that Washington offense in a long field rather than giving them half a field to go 50 yards, for, and they did it in two plays. That said, let's talk about this Husky team yeah. and the way they're playing. 300 yards, four touchdowns for Michael Penix Jr. For my money, he would win the Heisman if it was handed out today. Uh, hands down, I keep hearing the same names. I keep saying this every week. Roma Dunze, Jalen Polk, Jalen McMillan, those three are the top three pass catchers back from this offense last year. Kalen DeBoer has his way, and Michael Panix is having his way with every defense that he faces because he has the continuity and the chemistry with those guys, and it's showing on game day. Only one interception today out of him. Other than that, a clean game, and he got it done when he had to. Absolute showdown between a couple of tremendous teams and tremendous quarterbacks. Washington remains unbeaten. Good one in the Mountain West on CBS Sports Network. It's Wyoming and Air Force in a four-point game. Ayer Asante from Andrew Peasley. More to come. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management knows it's easy to get lost in investment research. Get help with J.P. Morgan Personal Advisors. Hey, David. Ready to get started? Work with advisors who create a plan with you and help you find the right investments. So great getting to know you. Let's take a look at your new investment plan. 
Okay, great. This should have you moving in the right direction. Thanks, Jen. Get ongoing advice and manage your investments in the Chase Mobile app. At FanDuel, we know how great it is to celebrate a win. And we want everyone to celebrate this NFL season. That's why we're giving away over a million dollars in prizes with FanDuel free-to-play games. So lace up those dancing shoes. Because with FanDuel, you can feel like a winner after every play. Make every moment more with FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. Today, we recognize the soldiers before you for their successful completion of their basic training. This time, we would like for family members and loved ones to move forward and put on your soldiers' Army One Star patch. We love our house. It's on a great block, tree-lined streets. The neighbors are observant. And we're back at the Sullivan house. It's lawn day, Sheila, and the leaves are piling up. Ugh, bit of an eyesore. I'll say. Dry shave. Interesting technique. That's going to come back to haunt him. Some people clean while they cook, not these folks. At least Geico makes bundling our home and car insurance easy. Saves us a ton. If only they'd bundled the leaves. You know, I wouldn't have pegged these two as yogis. I still don't. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. You know, they say, losing hope, that's the real disaster. Last year, Tropical Storm Fred sent a devastating wall of water and debris down this river. And when the waters receded, Belfour was here. Not just to rebuild, but to help restore the life of this community. Belfour, restoring more than property. It's Reese's season. Boo. The Sonic 2 for 7 deal lets you choose from the Sonic cheeseburger, chicken sandwich, or foot-long chili cheese coney. Any two for seven bucks. Because that friend that says they only want one bite never just wants one bite. Sonic 2 for 7 deal. Number one, George and Vanderbilt on CBS. Second quarter, tight end Brock Bowers, one of the best football players in the country, would leave the game. The left ankle injury, x-ray is negative, MRI to come this week. They do have the bye week coming up. Kirby Smart in post game sounded pretty confident that it wouldn't be too serious. That's Dominic Lovett from Carson Beck, and then later on in a 10-point game. Dijon Edwards put the come back to bed with a 60-yard run here, setting up him for a short touchdown run after Georgia wins. 37 to 20. So taking your business, we saw that from some of the top teams, Michigan as well today. In our game, 21-17, what do you expect second half? Well, the key is time of possession. It needs to roll, reverse, and flip if Air Force is going to have a chance to win this one. Typically, they win their games by chewing up clock and limiting the time of possession for the other team. So if they can flip the script a little bit in the second half, get themselves off the field on defense, they may have a chance. Wyoming up four in Colorado Springs, second half next. This has been the Ram Trucks Halftime Report. Ram Trucks, built to serve. We are trying really hard to get you Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but there is only so much we can do here. You're going to have to meet us halfway. Well, the whole way, actually. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $50 on the MS250 Chainsaw. Real steel. Find yours. Don't you think this is a bit extreme? It is. But it's where I need to be. We know you love a challenge. We just, we didn't expect this. If it were expected, it wouldn't be a challenge. So, Mom, Dad... What do you think?
you learn to serve? Oh, I didn't serve, but if your spouse, parent, or grandparents served in the military, you can join USAA. Yeah, my grandpa did, so I'm already in, but I was talking about your serve. Oh. USAA, for the military community. The three for me, only at Chili's, serves up bottomless drinks, bottomless chips and salsa, and a cheeseburger and fries for just $10.99. Hey, it's three for me, not three for us. This Chili's three for me is the best $10.99 you can eat. There's nothing average about the Air Force Academy or those who come here. It takes more than smarts and good grades. It takes grit. It's for the I never quit students, the relentless, persevering, most likely to keep trying until I reach my best students. Because we will go on to lead others, push boundaries, save lives, and represent American ideals. If you've got what it takes, prove it. With 12 institutions nestled in the nation's most desirable destinations, you'll see us enjoying life at the peak of celebration. As you witness us not only win, but win the right way, you'll find us competing at the peak of integrity. As our more than 5,000 student athletes take the field of play with unequaled passion, you'll find us performing at the peak of competition. The Mountain West is at the peak. Night has fallen, second half arrives, 21-17, Wyoming on top of Air Force. Rich Waltz, Aaron Taylor, Justin Walters is with us as well. You called it the, the game of the year in the Mountain West, and you weren't kidding. This has been a terrific football game. This could be a football game that was played in the 1970s, man. This is what we were hoping for. Both of these teams are battling. Neither's played perfect, but you can tell it matters, and this second half's gonna go a long way to what happens down the stretch in this conference. But Rich, really the story's Andrew Peasley. He started out last week, kind of had his breakout party in the win against Fresno State, but he's continued here and been masterful throwing the football, extending plays with his legs, and has been absolute money on third down. He's been close to perfect. Now, Air Force, on the other hand, they were down 14-0 and then pulled this out of their back pocket. Another gutsy call there by Troy Calhoun. Wyoming wasn't in punt safe, and they turned that gutsy call into some points in which that really was the play that got Air Force back into this game. All right, these numbers, I mean, look at this. Nobody does this to Air Force, 9 of 10 on third down. Rich, the most any team had gotten conversion-wise this year is four. So they doubled the amount of third down conversions that any of their opponents had gotten all game in just two quarters. Away we go, second half. Fair catch called and made down to Justin Walters. Justin? Yeah, Rich, as Coach Bowl, his assessment of Andrew Peasy so far, and he said he's been great. Whether it's through the air or on the ground, what he would like to see moving forward, especially from his defense, is playing assignment football. Coach Bowl agrees with AT. He feels that fake punt really helped him get back into the game. As for Coach Calhoun, he was impressed with his team hung in there. He said that these guys are much bigger than us. We have to do a better job at getting into those gaps. He thinks that his team will be able to hang around, and this is going to be a close one. A lot of big implications, as we said. All right, Justin, good information. Larrier's first play is a carry out to the 30. Both of these teams are really good at the end of the first at the end of the first half and at the start of the second half. There's an old football axiom called the middle eight. The last four minutes of the second quarter and the first four minutes after halftime. Look at what Air Force does. They're 13 and one when they win. Wyoming scored a touchdown. Air Force scored a field goal. So it's 73. Net net, this next drive for Air Force could be huge for the outcome of this game. Straight ahead. That's Emmanuel Michelle, the senior out of Lawrenceville, Georgia, who has been outstanding in that fullback spot. First half possessions. Not so good first possession, three and out, but after that, they really clicked. And how about Zach Larrier? Started out 0 and 2 and has completed five straight passes, but clearly Air Force wants to get back to basics and fundamental. The strength of this offensive unit is their boys up front, and they've leaned on them already through these first couple plays. And this is just smash mouth football, something that Air Force is really good at. Michelle chews up 
another six yards. This isn't trickery. Watch this block by Ethan Jackman. This is just moving people out of the pile, running people over, and gets a pancake, tipping them over the pile. That's not cut blocking. That's not cheap. That's solid offensive line play. Second down at four. Larry Err and Air or Wyoming had it sniffed out. Wyatt Eckler. Great job by Eckler. When you're playing the triple option offense, it's almost like man coverage. Everybody has an assignment. That time, the free safety, Wyatt Eckler, was responsible for wherever Zach Larrier went. Everybody went right, Larrier went left, and was met there by 31, who did his job. Those are the assignments that we heard Justin talk to Craig Bowl about, about being disciplined. Only the fourth third down that Air Force has faced. They've converted just one. Play clock down. Got to get it off. And they're going to run out of time. And Larrier has yep. to burn the timeout. Communication between Larrier and his center seemed a bit crossed there. Oh. That's a costly timeout. Third and two when we get back. Air Force first possession, second half. Your pride and joy is measured in acres. Keep them looking their best with the Kubota lineup. Versatile Sidekick Utility Vehicles. The number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience. Professional grade mowers for a professional cut. It's equipment built with one purpose, to get the job done right. Bringing in a new roommate to save money, is that the plan? Well, we got to find some way to save, so say hi to Glenn from work. Hey, that's my mom. Yeah, I think I have a much better plan. We switched to my plan from Verizon. We just pick our perks. Disney bundle, mobile hotspot. And save on everyone. That is a good plan. Glenn, looks like we're not going to be needing you, so I'll see you at work. Oh, later, Glenn. Get my plan starting at just $25 when you bring your own phones. Plus, save on the best in entertainment when you add perks, like the Disney bundle. It's your Verizon. Free breakfast, anyone? Express yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Express yourself. Uh -huh. You don't never need help from no. nobody else. All you got to do now. Oh, yeah. Impressive. Enjoy our free, fresh, hot breakfast any way you like. Only at Holiday Inn Express by IHG Hotels and Resorts. The three for me only at Chili's serves a bottomless drinks, bottomless chips and salsa, and an entree with sides starting at just $10.99. Wait, $10.99? Oh, someone's gonna get in trouble for this one. This Chili's three for me is the best $10.99 you can eat. If you've got a military, first responder, or law enforcement background, GovX.com is for you. Members save on epic brands and the gear they need for on and off duty lives. Signing up is fast, easy, and totally free. If you qualify, visit GovX.com 21-17, Air Force, especially offensively, relies on precise execution, and this is not that. Zach Larry is usually pretty level-headed and has a calm demeanor, but you can see the frustration about the play call coming in late. But it's that fiery attitude that won him over from Mike Beeson. But more importantly, Rich, and, and you mentioned this, the costly timeout for a team like Air Force to burn a timeout because you didn't get the play in can be catastrophic. And so Thiessen now dialing up third down and two. And it wasn't an easy decision to, to make this guy a starter. And it was pretty close to the first game. And it was because they had two live scrimmages, one in spring practice and one in the fall, where he flashed. Thiessen said, this is the guy I want. Third and two here. Michelle in the backfield. And he'll get it and he'll power it forward. My goodness, that is absolute beautiful push by the unit known as the diesel. It's a very exclusive club if you want to be a member of the diesel. Yes, it is. And you saw a very late punch of the ball there by Colby Taylor. 
something to keep an eye on the cornerback number six for Wyoming he can be a little hot-headed at times he's a really good player you want players to play with emotion but not emotional well, methodical now remember I mean the first play of the game after going down seven nothing was a a deep shot really unorthodox call and, and certainly could have caught Wyoming by surprise but Air Force didn't hit it and that seemed to put them behind the sticks and they did they went three and out in that try and that doesn't happen much often because on the 10 starts of halves both halves of all season Air Force had scored seven of those times six touchdowns and one field goal out of 10 possible drives so this is something that they're really good at so it was unusual for them not to get it Larry, a quick throw caught there. Rosnos the catch, and he's hammered down by Colby Taylor. And Rosnos is hurt. Is going to be good for the first down. There's Colby Taylor. He beats him. Beautifully thrown and executed. That's a legal tackle, but maybe a little bit more aggressive. You hope that Rosnos is okay because he's really become the favorite target of Larry. It's a tackle emblematic of the logo on the helmet for Wyoming. Rosnos is still on a knee and will step aside and be right back. Feast your eyes on Marco's Pepperoni Magnifico. Fresh dough made daily, topped with our signature sauce. Three real cheeses, classic pepperoni, plus crispy cupped old world pepperoni. Pure pepperoni perfection for just $9.99, but for a limited time only. Great costume. Looks like you deserve both. See ya, boys. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new clinically proven Legsercise Pro. The natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. After using Lasercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Lasercise Pro's patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Legsercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. Here's your parachute. Packed it myself. Certain it's okay? Mm-hmm. Are you foreign print certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of congratulating coworkers or saying thank you for being a customer with promotional products from 4imprint. Our expert team is dedicated to making your satisfaction a certainty. Packed it myself. Land the perfect products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Tomorrow, week six, NFL on CBS. Great matchup in Cincinnati. Seahawks facing Joe Burrow and the Bengals. We can't wait for tomorrow. The NFL is on CBS. It's streaming on Paramount Plus. And if you want to watch a Cowboy play defense in the NFL, <laughs> you got a lot of choices. I mean, you got the great linebackers of Wilson and Muma. Andrew Wingard, what a hitter he was. Tyler Hall, Marcus Epps, Deshaun Gibson, Carl Granderson, the defensive end. That's a big injury because Jared Rosnos is their best weapon on the outside. Really is in sync with Zach Larrier's favorite target coming into tonight at 245 of the 410 pass yards. That's a significant loss if he can't come back. This uh, this drive has almost been exclusively E-Man, Emmanuel Michel. And Michel down to the 33 yard line. When you know, look, everyone was asked. Troy Calhoun, Mike Thiessen. What's the comparison between Brad Roberts, who was the great fullback, to uh, E-Man? And he said, no, no comparisons. 
there are no comparisons. They are different people. They are different players. And E-Man is a terrific fullback, and he's shown it. Good ball fake by Larrier, and he's caught from behind and dropped down there by Gavin Meyer. Armed Forces football is proudly supported by Serve Pro. You look at there at Steve Lebotsky, a former Falcon player in the current offensive line coach. Clearly, the adjustment change at halftime was for Steve and his room to take over with the inside run game. The big question I had coming in here was whether or not the Falcons could move the bigger, more physical Wyoming defensive line. And in this second half, that answers emphatically yes. Third down and four is often four down territory. And Larrier spins out of a tackle and dives forward. And I think he's got the first down. Shea Suyanoa made the stop. Let's see where they mark it. It's right on the stick. We've seen Peasley be improvisational, but that was a great job by Zach Larrier of doing the same. That play was looked like it was supposed to go out the front door, and he had to hit it backside where he's all by himself, and he makes defenders miss. Those are the missed tackles that Wyoming was worried about. That's what you get with such an athletic quarterback. And he has it up for the first down, moves the sticks. First and 10, right at the 26-yard line. First possession, second half. Air Force eating up clock and yardage as they go. Michelle again falls forward, and the push gets him four more yards. Cole Goodbow made the stop. And you have to be a strong runner to, to move Cole Goodbow as much as he just did. Well, his offensive line's helping him up front. Look at Thor Pagley along and Ethan Jackman, man. Ethan Jackman is jacking dudes. This ain't your grandpappy's Air Force offensive line. These guys run up the football and get movement at the point of attack. Yeah, the average weight is right around 300 pounds on this offensive line. It's amazing what happens when you stop doing survival training in August. <laughs> and this time, Michelle breaks through. That's a first down to the 14-yard line. Rich. My mental chart is saying that 90% of these runs are in the A and B gap. They are going right through the heart of Wyoming right now. E-Man's taken over. You see the first two games, not so much, but his last three games, he's averaging 26 carries a game. And in this one, E-Man, 14 carries, 68 yards. Seven carries on this drive. Larrier again to the 10. That's another five yards. Suyanoa with another tackle. Rich, we're at play 13 of this drive that has bled more than half of this third quarter. This is Air Force football. Justin Walters informs us that Jared Rosnos, helmet back on, is good to go and can come back in the game when needed. Second down, six. Larry, your option, pitch. Eldridge, spin, caught, wipes his way for a few more yards inside the seven. Four yards there, third down now, and a long one, maybe two. That's one of the very few pitches we've seen all night from Air Force. And this is a Falcon team, Rich, that in the low red zone, which is where they are, 95% run. The one play call that's, that's the outlier is a bootleg, but they score touchdowns 85% of the time they get inside the 10-yard line. Almost nine minutes on this drive, third and two. Dive through the A-gap. Michelle, hit, surges, falls forward. Air Force says they have the first down, and they do. Well, Michelle does, but this offensive line has really worked it on this drive. There were some young recruits on the field that were talking to Steve Lebotsky, but take a look at that. Touchdown, 17 for 17 on their last goal-to-go situations. Lebotsky was talking to these young recruits. He mentioned the Joe Moore Award and what it is they qualify for. This is what they're built for right here. 
like a gap runs here. First and goal, little pitch, Michelle hit and stopped. Ball's loose, but I think he was down, and the whistles signify that. Easton Gibbs was there to string that play out. That's incredible. This is a team that hasn't fumbled much, if at all, this season. That ball is starting on its way out and moving. It's not fully out, but it's on its way out. They're going to have to take a look at this. Well, they're not going to get a chance. This Larrier with Michelle on his back is in the end zone. And a mammoth drive to start the second half by Air Force, and they take the lead. First place in this conference is on the line. That's play 17 of a 75-yard drive that took 10 minutes and 13 seconds off the clock. That's championship winning football there by the Falcons. That's the way you respond coming out at halftime. And as you pointed out, you want to win the middle eight, the end of that first half, the beginning of the second half. Remember, Wyoming had a late touchdown under two minutes in that first half, but Air Force got a field goal at the buzzer and then scores on a lengthy drive here. Air Force 24 21 on the fields and in the ranks the cadets pretty darn happy attention veterans you can shop tax-free for life come home to your military exchanges for tax-free shopping exclusive pricing and free shipping options 100% of earnings go back to military communities, keeping today's military ready and resilient. You served. You sacrificed. You earned this benefit. Visit shopmyexchange.com slash vets to shop and save today. Dude, this thing is awesome. I know. I bought it using the cash rewards card from Navy Federal Credit Union. I get cash back on every purchase. Honestly, I can't imagine where I'd be without them. One word, got it. Reeling in fish. No. Eating fish. Fish in the sea? Movie. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of, what are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Treat your taste buds to the King's Hawaiian Pork and Slaw Sandwich from Firehouse Subs with slow-smoked pulled pork, melted pepper jack, and a sweet and tangy slaw. All on a toasted King's Hawaiian bun. For a limited time, only at Firehouse Subs. Ain't no secret in staying in your prime. You just gotta want it, baby. Eating almonds can help you recover from exercise. Fellas, get after it. So eat your almonds. Oh, you're proud. Twenty-four, twenty-one. Air Force, a long touchdown drive. This is close to a fumble. In fact, it may be a fumble. Rich, I thought it was a fumble. That ball was moving, and Michelle never had full control of that football as he crosses the goal line, and there's an immediate recovery by Goodbo as that ball comes out. He did not maintain control as he crossed the goal line. The ball was moving the entire time then squirts out with an immediate recovery. At the very least, replay should have taken a look at However, that. Air Force didn't give them a whole lot of time. Smartly, they got to the line, snapped it quickly, and Larrier scored on a sneak. That was actually brilliant play calling and nice job coaching of Air Force and an indication that they were worried about what they might see in replay. That one is through the end zone. Let's head to New York. Brent Stover for this update. Brent? 
Rich Caleb Williams has thrown three interceptions in the first half. Notre Dame has turned them into three touchdowns. Audric Estime here. It's 24-6 Irish at the half into the ACC. Tyler Van Dyke on a 35-yard touchdown throw to Jacoby George. Miami leads 14-7 at North Carolina in the second. Guys. All right, thank you, Brent. I mean, there's a lot of great games tonight, but, man, this one is absolutely terrific. Biggest game in the Mountain West this year. Wyoming now behind for the first time. And this is Scott, who seems to go four or five yards every time he touches the ball. That's four. Bo Richter, the stop AP. Top ten, powered by Ram Trucks. Well, those first top four teams all played in the noon window, and most had pretty slow starts, but took care of business. Oklahoma sitting idle after that big win after Texas but credit Washington the crowd noise was a factor rich and how about that score there the very end of the first half Oregon got a turnover elected to go for the touchdown and not kick the field goal those three points ended up cost yes this is Scott with a catch and he's up the field and out of bounds at the 37 sometimes when you chase points early and, and that was a gamble they ran out of time Oregon on fourth down went for it and those three points and I'm really stunned that you didn't circle the Irish, right? I mean, man, why are you bringing up that? How are we doing tonight? I'm not, I'm not, because I'm so keyed in on this game. I just want to give you some love for calling out. I thought it was good to be aggressive there at the end of the half for Oregon. Right, I was wrong. Yeah, we we had a long discussion uh, before the game, watching that one in the booth. A little trickery here. Asante is caught and dropped, and that's Trey Taylor in a disastrous play for the Cowboys. When Air Force needs a big play, they come off the outside edges. This is exactly what they do. Look at the top of the screen. There's Trey Taylor. They tried to run a reverse, something they did in the red zone against Fresno State last week. But Air Force was ready for it. That was the perfect defensive call for what Wyoming was trying to run there. And it cost Wyoming 12 yards. Big time. Second and 22. Now you got to climb yourself out of this hole. Eight plus yards at a time to give yourself a makeable third down and possible. Peasley. Can't slide through. Caught and dropped. P.J. Ramsey with his fourth sack of the season. Day in the life. Now, where is that 12-yard tackle for a loss in this day? Huh? He wakes up, morning formation, breakfast is early. You and I are just getting out of bed, probably around 8.30. Class, lunch, officer development, team lift meetings, practice shower, dinner film. Lights out at 2300. Unbelievable what these guys are asked to do and then play high level of football on top of it. Nine tackles tonight. Put that on the schedule. This is a third and 24, short throw. Scott trying to make something out of it, trying to bounce outside, gets up the field, and he's out of bounds, short of the first down. And just short. We know that Wyoming's not a team that likes to go for it on fourth down, but if there were a time, this may be it. Well, this certainly, if they do punt it, this certainly gives them a chunk of field position back. And clearly, Scott stepped out well before we thought he did this being a fourth and long an outstanding job by Air Force that sack that put him behind the sticks is what is forcing this punt here and that's the way you want to start the second half and the first punt for Wyoming and not a great bounce so that field position thing didn't quite work out Air Force went the distance eight up clock their first drive they get it back with a lead now, 24-21. 
You're so much more than just a landowner. You're a gardener, a groundskeeper, a landscaper. My bars, my goose, my clumps, my fizz. I don't know what that one is, but you want in? I'm good, man. I think Goop was a bad choice. Ultra, what's your beef? Enter for a chance to win a trip to see your favorite pro football team play with Five Hour Energy's Ultimate Fan Football Sweepstakes. Plus, you'll unlock a 20% off code for team merch at fanatics.com. Enter today. Treat your taste buds to the King's Hawaiian Pork and Slaw Sandwich from Firehouse Subs with slow smoked pulled pork, melted pepper jack, and a sweet and tangy slaw. All on a toasted King's Hawaiian bun for a limited time only at Firehouse Subs. Cowboys had led almost in it the entirety of the game. Air Force on top now. Surf Pro, first responder. This was a nice response to open up this third quarter, erasing the deficit. And E-Man, Daniel Michel, led the way on the doorstep. Larrier took it in. He's been the workhorse tonight, 16 carries, 73 yards, averaging four and a half carries. But, Rich, this is the story. Air Force, with that last drive, basically has even this game up in terms of time of possession, number of plays, numbers of first downs after getting blown out, essentially, in the first half. Jared Rosnos is back in. He's the receiver nearest to you, bottom of your screen. And this is kind of what that last drive was about. This is Owen Burke, the other fullback, and he's been terrific this year, averaging 60 yards a game. E-man, Emmanuel Michel, 80 yards a game. Rich, this feels like an important drive to me because this Wyoming team was in clear control early on, and the table has shifted. And this reminds me of what happened last week against Fresno State when they scored 24 first half points and not a point in the second half and let Fresno climb their way all the way back in that ball game. They're on their way to doing that here if they can't get a stop. Larrier looks left, now darts right, cuts up to the sideline, accelerates, and man is he quick. Good bow caught him, but not before a huge game into Wyoming territory, 18 yards. The right tackle, Mason Carlin, does a good job of getting on Easton Gibbs just enough to nick him, and then that track speed of Larrier does the rest. Good bow is banged up. When Troy Calhoun saw the recruiting tape of Zach Larrier, it wasn't necessarily the football stuff. That was great. But when he saw him running track and accelerating down the stretch, running the 400, he said, my goodness, that guy is going to fit in just fine here. And Larrier on this carry is going to get four more yards. Wyatt Eckler made the stop. That may end the third quarter. and. Air Force is humming, man. Rich, to me, this really feels like with the ball control that Air Force is showing that Wyoming, at the very least, has to hold Air Force to a field goal on this drive. Zach Larrier, 15 carries, 101 yards. Air Force controlling the football now to the 4-3 go. Falcons by three. If you're making a to-do list today, make it easy on yourself. Just write down Reese's, then write down eat them, and then you're kind of done for the day. There right left! So rude. Clear. Do you really want to go through with this? Absolutely. You've always stood up for what you believed in, but this? What could mean more than this? So, Mom. What do you think? Yes! Enter for a chance to win a trip to see your favorite pro football team play with Five Hour Energy's Ultimate Fan Football Sweepstakes. Plus, you'll unlock a 20% off code for team merch at fanatics.com. Enter today. 
With the Sonic 2 for 7 deal, you can choose from three delicious favorites for only seven bucks. A Sonic cheeseburger, chicken sandwich, or a foot-long chili cheese coney. It might be the greatest pairing since cherry and limey. Sonic 2 for 7 deal. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new clinically proven Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. After using Legsercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Legsercise Pro's patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating con Constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Legsercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile, and the ones who get in early, so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, offering professional grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. The bird mascot for the Falcons down throughout the first half up here and controlling the football right now moments ago Justin Walters with Craig Bowl. Coach you knew this was going to be a dog fight was yep, the key to getting momentum back well, in your favor. Got to get a couple stops on first down. They were they're, they're creating way too many uh, second down and five second down and sixes. Now we need a turnover. We've got to stay on the field on offense. We're looking to fourth. Thank you. All right. Thank you Justin. He's right about that because the fear when you get to this point against Air Force is you may not have many possessions left. And Wyoming has forced a turnover in seven straight games going back to last year. They would love to have one here. However, Air Force has turned it over just twice this year. Obviously not tonight. Larry or straight ahead hit hard there. I mean, that last drive was a lot of Emmanuel and Michelle, and then when they needed it, Larry or burst through. It's good to see Goodbo back out there. This could be two down territory for Air Force. Third and one is usually a layup. No question. And Michelle in the game behind Larrier. Watching outside. Larrier straight ahead. Because it was so close in those situations, you have to worry about a pitch to the outside and try to catch Wyoming asleep. But it's this situation that's coming up here, these first down plays. Air Force has averaged five yards a play on first down. They're looking at second and medium almost the entire game. That's a lot of pressure on a defensive play caller to try to get a stop when they're having so much success on first down. There your keeps and man as he meet his match there right in his face. That's Braden Siders. CBS Sports celebrates the contributions, achievements and cultural impact of Hispanic and Latin communities during Hispanic Heritage Month. So second and ten, this is exactly what Wyoming wants. Now, what do you do with this opportunity? And on the flip side, what's Mike Thiessen thinking? Is he going to let Larry throw it? He's six for eight and completed six of his last seven balls? Or is he keep it on the ground and play conservative? Give himself a makeable third down here. It's a pitch. And Michelle gets outside, and he's tough to bring down out there as well. And it looks like he's got the first down. Ten more yards, move the chains, move the clock. There was motion at the very end that allowed this edge to get sealed right there. Cole DeMarzo got pinned, and that opened up the perimeter. And the big play run that Air Force needed on first down was there. Second down. And you heard Craig Bull tell Justin, we just got to get some stops. This is how Air Force bleeds you. They drag you out to the deep end, and it's death by paper cut. 
That's exactly what Wyoming said at the end of that double overtime thriller of the win over Texas Tech. Barrier cut down from behind. That's good trail tackling by Cole DeMarzo. And again, you know, you talked about the importance of winning first down against Air Force defensively. Wyoming's done that now on two straight first downs. This gives them a shot. DeMarzo's the backup linebacker, but he's playing the third linebacker today. Wyoming, for the most part, what they see in this conference, they run a 4-2-5, meaning five defensive backs and nickelback. They moved Rook Brown to the safety and cornerback slot, and they're playing Cole DeMarzo near the line of scrimmage. And he's played pretty well so far. They're going to throw it. Fires, and it's incomplete. Rillos, the intended receiver. Rillos has one catch this year. Right read, but it wasn't accurate. It was too far inside of Rillos. And Rillos has had some challenges catching footballs cleanly, but just on second look, Isaac White timed that beautifully and got his hand on the ball right when it got to Rillos. That's just good defense. That ball is catching. Third down, eight. Air Force four of four on third down here in the second half. Larrier draw, flag down, Larrier down, well short of the first down. Easton Gibbs the oh, tackle. Larrier's and Larrier slow to get up. Is oh. on the ground holding that left knee. This place just went completely quiet. Illegal formation, five in the backfield, Air Force. That penalty's declined, result of the play is a fourth down. Timeout on the field for injured offensive player. Jensen Jones is the backup quarterback. He's warming up right now. Zach Larrier still on the field holding that left knee. I was on the field talking with Mike Thiessen before the game. Hard to see what happened there, but the good news is. Oh, no, that's a, that's great news. Oh man, Thiessen was telling me that it was a tight quarterback competition until about 10 days before the start of camp, and that Jensen Jones and Ben Britton both had excellent springs and excellent camps. It wasn't an easy decision, but he was happy with what Jensen Jones brought to the table. But this is only the fourth field goal attempt of the year for Air Force, a win for Wyoming no matter what happens. Matthew DePore from 43. Clean snap, and the kick has plenty on it, and it's good. But that feels like a win for Wyoming. They're going to get the football back. Down six. Troy Calhoun and Air Force increase the lead. 27-21 in the Mountain West. There's no Belichickery here. When Sunday football isn't enough. Dislike that take. Great take. That other pregame show will put you over the tops. I'm all in. Let's go viral here. Every Sunday, all the insight you need on CBS Sports Network. Create a backyard that's out of this world. Right now, save $30 on the GTA 26 handheld battery pruner. Real steel. Find yours. You I wish for the amazing new iPhone 15 Pro. <laughs> Sean! Do you mean this one, the one with titanium? No way I could trade this busted up thing for one. Maybe stealing wishes from the birthday boy is not your best plan. Switch to Verizon and trade in any iPhone and get the new iPhone 15 Pro on them. What? Yep, and on an amazing network. And I don't have to ruin any more birthday parties. Yeah, that ship has sailed. Let's go get you that iPhone. Here we what go. It? Come on now. It's your last chance to trade in any iPhone for a new iPhone 15 Pro on us, only on Verizon. NFL football, Little Caesars in my lucky chair. I'm not changing anything. Morning, girl. Morning, trash. Yeah. Ah! Good night, hon. Good night. 
And then over here with the gross premium market. Yeah, questions? George Kittle, what keeps you going all season long? Little Caesars Pizza, and of course my guy Daryl and his lucky chair. Yes! Did you hear that, Susan? That's because of the chair. Daryl gets it. He knows the four-quarter calzone from Little Caesars is officially delicious. Pizza, pizza. We can't wait for Week 6 Slate, featuring the Seahawks stepping into the jungle. All hail Sunday. The NFL is on CBS. College football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission by Ram Trucks, built to serve, and by Papa Jobs. Try the new garlic epic stuffed crust pizza today. Always cool to see the Falcon flying around this place. 27-21 moments ago, Zach Larrier. Bad news is he's headed to the locker room, but the good news is he looks like he's walking good, and he even gave us a and everybody here a thumbs up on his way. So we'll see, and Justin certainly will keep that monitored on the sideline. Now Wyoming is going to get the football down six with plenty of time left in this game. And the return is out to the 23. Next Saturday, big doubleheader on CBS, streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Aaron and I are headed to Annapolis for the first leg of the Commander-in-Chief Trophy. Air Force and Navy at noon Eastern, then on to the SEC. CBS has number 19, Tennessee, traveling to number 11, Alabama. Commander-in-Chief Trophy standing. Air Force winning it last year. They've got 21, Navy 16, Army 9. Andrew Peasley, brilliant in the first half. Wyoming trying to recapture that magic. Brown in motion, and this is Peasley outside. Peasley makes a cut across the 30, still on his feet, and then sent to the turf hard by Jaden Goodwin. A little stiff arm there, but Rich, Air Force has been so dominant in the second half of games all season, and that's holding true here in this contest. This is what Wyoming needs to do. You see Peasley's limping around there. He's playing physically a little bit of a stiff arm. He's trying to get things done. Just such a great effort. You can tell how much these teams want. Goodwin tried to swipe the ball away, and Peasley moved it at the last minute. You have to protect the football. A turnover here for either team would be devastating. He had a substantial tweak of an ankle in the first half. On the ground, Jamari Farrell. And Taylor makes his 73rd tackle, it feels like. He may be in double figures by now. Brent Stover back to New York. Rents get a developing story between UCLA and Oregon State. Final minute, second quarter, Dante Moore gets picked off. And the Oregon State defense takes it to the house with 29 to play before halftime. Oregon State 23-10, guys. All right, thank you, Brent. Actually, 10 tackles for Trey Taylor. He is in double figures. Gilleborg in motion. Peasley play action. And he swallowed up. Back at the 30. Take your pick. Multiple Falcons there. Capono Blake. Peyton Zadroik as well. When Air Force needs a big play, they blitz up the middle. And that's exactly what happens. Alex Monk gets there. But the big news is Peyton Zadroik, he's been hurt, been banged up. The bye week came at the right time for him to get healthy. And Peasley had to hold that ball. I thought he had an outlet with Gillenborg. He opted not to take it. But this is a critical third and long here thanks to the sack. Peasley has bailed him out on third down with his legs. Four-man rush. Peasley's in trouble. Escapes once. Looking downfield. Peasley cuts. Peasley spins, but he's well short of the first down. Alec Mock hauled him down. And Wyoming has to turn it back over to Air Force. Great job by Air Force defensively. Alec Mock is down, but this should be the scramble drill. There's immediate pressure when Peasley starts to go. Go ahead and freeze it right there. These receivers that are down deep have to work to get themselves open. Everybody comes back to the ball. And that doesn't give Peasley any outlets. Great stop by Air Force. Don't go away, folks. This one's getting good. 
Feast your eyes on Marco's Pepperoni Magnifico. Fresh dough made daily, topped with our signature sauce. Three real cheeses, classic pepperoni, plus crispy cupped old world pepperoni. Pure pepperoni perfection for just $9.99, but for a limited time only. We are trying really hard to get you Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, but there is only so much we can do here. You're going to have to meet us halfway. Well, the whole way, actually. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new clinically proven Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. After using Legsercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Legsercise Pro's patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Legsercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. Imagine a world with no drama. I haven't signed Jody's card yet. At 4imprint, finding the promotional products you need to create a memorable moment is an easy mission. Our expert team will take care of every detail to make your success a certainty. Take the drama out of ordering promotional products at 4imprint.com. 4imprint for certain. Chilly night at the Academy. 27-21 Air Force. We're not done yet. 11 Eastern, Mountain West, to the islands we go. San Diego State in need of a win. Hawaii, explosive at home, CBS Sports Network. When we left you, Alec, Mock was down, and Mock is on his feet moments ago on his way to the sideline. Wyoming is in punt formation. Remember that fake punt by Air Force that sparked them to life back in the first half. Dane Kinneman is deep for the Falcons. Air Force is in punt safe. They're not going to let what happened to Wyoming happen to them. That's a absolute massive punt. That's 64 yards, maybe 65, but it does go into the end zone. So now here's the situation. Zach Larrier has not come out of the locker room yet. This is Jensen Jones in his career. He, he really hasn't had a, a lot of time this year. And he's in a big spot now because Air Force needs to move the ball and eat some clock. Which means he's got to be a point guard and distribute the football carefully. Here's the injury to Larrier. Hard to see what happens. He does get two bodies that fall on him with his leg and not a good situation but without Larry or you lose your outside speed and your ability to throw the football downfield Jones keeps it you're going to probably see a lot of this and Jones he's got size 6'2 215 Naples Florida and when he's coming the ball game it's, it's essentially he'll he'll keep it on power plays like that and that's smart for Thiessen there because it lets him take a snap there's no exchange where he's got to hand it to a back and make a read and he can get the pop for anybody that's ever played football, that first hit kind of wakes you up and settles you down. Now with second and medium, he can start to expand his call sheet. Emmanuel Michel. Ball's loose. It's on the ground. Wyoming has it. Oh, my goodness. Just the third turnover for Air Force all season long. Rich, Air Force has not committed a turnover in any of its last three games. That's the longest streak since October, November of 2017. And it came at the inopportune time. And Devon Harris, the defensive end, is there for the biggest play so far in this game. New quarterback in an offense that demands precise ball handling. And it goes sideways for Air Force. Injuries have always been 
the thorn in the side of this Air Force team with Larry in the locker room, it didn't take long for things to start to unravel. 25 yard line, Peasley now, fires, sideline, sliding catch. That's Will Pellisier who makes the catch. Now, this is important because with a touchdown and an extra point, it gives Wyoming a one point lead. But Larrier, in his absence, is critical to what Troy Calhoun's offense can do in response. The best thing that Air Force can do here is to get a stop and force Wyoming to kick a field goal. Sam Scott in the backfield. Ball at the 13. This is Scott. Tough runner. Shoulder down. Spins and picks up more yardage. We'll see where they mark him. Gaylord made the stop. They'll move it all the way to the five yard line. That's just short of the first down. Keep your eye right here on these two blockers. Great job. We talked about Frank Crum. Look at that pancake block. Great edge surge there when they needed it. When they need something, they run left behind 75. And 88 was pretty good there also. Second and two. Peasley, so good in this spot. In and out of the hands of Scott. And that was Mock who was all over him. That's terrific defense by Air Force. And that ball was thrown with a lot of mustard on it. It was heat. There was a lot of pepper there. I don't know if it got touched or not, or was just so hard. But that was great coverage by Mock, who's back in the game, and the catch Sam Scott would like to have had. This is the area where Peasley loves to find his tight ends. Trayton Welch, John Michael Gillenborg, Nick Miles has a catch tonight. Third down two. Scott big enough to get you the tough yards. It's Scott! And he stopped. And that handoff wasn't clean. Bo Richter blew it up. And the mesh wasn't clean at all. That was a complete bust from Wyoming. Nobody blocked Bo Richter. He's a terror off the outside edge. And if you're Wyoming, you've got a big decision here. Do you kick the field goal or try to go for it? With Air Force's quarterback out, you have to feel good about this situation. Very smart for him to talk about this and think it through. You'd also like to have had that timeout back, but your thinking changes here, Rich, with Zach Larrier in the locker room. Right, I mean, we've been talking about how does Air Force play with a lead with a backup quarterback, and now if, if Wyoming sticks it in the end zone, how does Air Force get the lead back without Larrier? Now, here, Wyoming can get a first down without scoring, so this is not a goal to go, but it's still fourth and three, which is a tricky down. And all indications are they're going for it, and they just want to talk about it. And this is the turnover, just the third all season for Air Force, and not a clean exchange at all. Not at all. And very smartly, Jones and Michelle are taking some snaps to practice. That's the thing you want to avoid. I like this situation here for Wyoming because in the event you don't get it, Air Force has terrible field position. You still have an opportunity to play defense. Wyoming trying to hit the gas pedal and maybe get a freebie. Air Force has to stay on sides here. Fourth and three. Peasley. Blitz comes. Rolling. Looking back. Throwing across, touchdown Cowboys! Trayton Welch, the tight end. And it's tied and Wyoming can take the lead. Rich, that was the fourth, fourth down attempt all season by Wyoming. They are four for four and that's the best play call that offensive coordinator Tim Polisek has made all night. Beautifully drawn up, beautifully executed, and a tie ball game that Wyoming is looking to take the lead in with this kick. And he missed it. It was blocked. Air Force got a hand on it. I think Trey Taylor. My goodness. 
What a game this is. It's tied at 27. Wyoming to take the lead. Air Force without their starting quarterback keeps it tied and Trey Taylor the hero again. Your pride and joy is measured in acres. Keep them looking their best with the Kubota lineup. Versatile sidekick utility vehicles. The number one rated tractor brand for durability and owner experience. Professional grade mowers for a professional cut. It's equipment built with one purpose, to get the job done right. So beautiful. Morning, Rob. Looking great. Does that say USAA? Yeah, USAA. Amazing home, auto, and life insurance. Plus banking and credit cards. I'm in because of my dad. You think that'll finally get you in? Probably not. But it looks great. USAA. For the military community and their families. Perfection. Those new tiles are falling right into place until you run out of... What are those called again? Oh, right. The Home Depot app is made for doing that doesn't miss a beat. So you can find what you need fast and keep things moving in the right direction. For doing that doesn't stop, download the Home Depot app. It's made for doing. Feast your eyes on Marco's Pepperoni Magnifico. Fresh dough made daily, topped with our signature sauce. Three real cheeses, classic pepperoni, plus crispy cupped old world pepperoni. Pure pepperoni perfection for just $9.99, but for a limited time only. The fact that this Reese's ad showed up at this exact moment proves that your devices are listening to your stomach. Second big special teams play by Air Force. Take a look right here. Trey Taylor is just going to run up right through the middle. Just a delay. That's something they've seen on film. At the very least, is out coached and he runs unabated. You want to get the operation off on a PAT in 1.3 seconds, and Craig Bull cannot believe what he just saw. All eyes on that man, Jensen Jones, backup quarterback for Air Force. Zach Larrier is still in the locker room. How much is at stake in this one, if you've just joined us? A whole heck of a lot. There are no divisions in the Mountain West this year. So the first two get to the Mountain West Championship game. And if Air Force wins this game, it's like having a, a two-game lead because they'll have the head-to-head -head over Wyoming. And Wyoming, obviously, they want the head-to-head -head over Air Force. And this is a big one for Air Force because they don't even play Fresno State in the regular season. And, of course, Wyoming has a win over Fresno State. And now... Here's Jensen Jones, the senior. Now, Wyoming was trying to rip the ball out, which is something we haven't seen all game long, but clearly one of the adjustments that the Cowboys made was try to strip the ball from Jensen Jones. And that ball might have came out a little bit. Let's take a look at it. There's no review yet. Cole DeMarzo coming in from the back. Oh, that ball looks like it's starting to come out. He's under further review. From that side, you can't fully see if it's fully out from that angle, but, Rich, it certainly looks like it did, and Wyoming absolutely thought they got another one. Original call was down. From that angle, I don't think you can overturn. From this angle, it, you don't see the knee. The ref blocks it. <laughs> but, the, and, but that official has the – look, I mean, look at the view that that official has. So – I don't know with either of these two looks. Here's another one. Watch for the knee going down. Just a heads up play by Wyoming. That ball's out. That ball is out, Rich. His knee was still up. You can sync these up to look at multiple views. 
They have the ability to do that now with the reviews. And I think we just witnessed the unthinkable back-to-back -back turnovers by Air Force. And credit our camera folk, the women and men in the truck on the replay machines, because we've had three really good looks at this. This was the original one. And as we noted, you can't really see the knees. That was a combination of 25, Cole DeMarzo, and Easton Gibbs that ripped this ball out. And there you see the knee wasn't down, and the ball was sitting on the back of a Falcon. So from that, the third look that we had in super slow-mo looks like a definitive fumble. And the officials are watching clear recovery. That's a great point as well. Clear Original call yep. is down by contact. What a nightmare for Air Force. Rich, we're talking driver's seat of the Mountain West Conference. We're talking probably ranked in the top 25 tomorrow at noon. We're talking an opportunity to be the highest ranked group of five conference champion and go to a New Year's Six Bowl game. You know what the visibility of that does for recruiting and for these programs in the world of NIL and the portal? The economic windfall? It's significant for both of these teams, for both of these blue collar, blue blood, cut from tough cloth coaches that run their programs the way that football was created to do. And you see the look on the right on Troy Calhoun's face. Air Force, in five games coming into this one, had turned it over just twice, just twice. And in the last two snaps, two fumbles. After review, the ball was fumbled prior to the runner becoming down, immediately recovered by Wyoming. First down, Wyoming. You saw Craig Bolt <laughs> celebrating about five seconds before the official announcement. He had heard, and Wyoming, who seems to play their best games in their biggest games this year, are doing it again here on the road against Air Force. Football's a simple game, Rich. And in a style of offense, between two teams where possessions are at a premium, Easton Gibbs, the player that we featured off the top, the leader of this defense, may have just made the biggest play of the season for the Cowboys, but they have to do. Scott, that's a yard. Alec Mock, the hit. And again, if you're just joining us, Air Force has lost their quarterback, Zach Lair. He's been in the locker room for over 20 minutes. He walked on his own without limping much into the locker room, but he hasn't returned. And Jensen Jones, with a couple of turnovers, in relief. We've seen a couple teams this year in Boise State, when their back turned it over twice, came back in and saved the day. Jensen Jones has to keep his head in his game. And right now, the Falcons defense needs to do their job. Scott, and right now Air Force's defense is fired up. This is going to be third down and long. And remember that an extra point was just blocked. So if you're John Hoyland, who in his long career had never missed an extra point, that was the first one. This could come down to Wyoming and a field goal to take the lead. Wyoming started out red hot on third down, 9 for 10. In the second half, though, they've been 0 for 3. And I didn't like those first two play calls. A little too conservative, I thought, because now there's a lot of pressure to try to get this done and convert it here. Peasley. Blitz comes. Peasley in the pocket. He's hit and dropped. And that's a much longer field goal now. Bo Richter with the sack. Loss of six. Mark it at the 35. Peasley seemed indecisive here. Bo Richter, good job collapsing the pocket. He didn't get deeper than Peasley, which would have opened up the escape lane. He retraced his steps, squeezed the pocket with the bull rush, and now a mega kick by John Hoyland for a chance at the lead. See his career, he's hit six over 50. This from 52. Has the leg, and it is no good! Wide right! Ah! 
Air Force with a stop, Wyoming with a miss, and this game, so big, so important, late in the fourth, is tied. Wyoming 27, Air Force 27. Why do I choose a sleep number smart bed? So I can keep them all guessing. <laughs> So I know their game better than they do. So I can take my game to the next level. Because when your bed is this smart, you sleep at the right temperature all night. That's why 80% of NFL players choose the Sleep Number Smart Bed. Attention Department of Defense and Coast Guard civilians. If you hold an active common access card, you can shop in store at your PXBX and shopmyexchange.com tax free. And if you're a retired DOD or Coast Guard civilian, you get exclusive online access. 100% of Army and Air Force Exchange Service earnings support military communities. It matters where you shop. Visit shopmyexchange.com slash CAC to learn more. Hey, how's it going? Good. What's with the sandwich names? Oh, they're just nods to my time in the Army. Oh, but what's the Steven named after? Steven is from Navy Federal Credit Union. They've been helping with my finances since I enlisted. You want another Steven, Steven? Keep them coming, Hannah. <laughs> okay. Maybe someday I could get a sandwich named after me. <laughs> no. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Feast your eyes on Marco's Pepperoni Magnifico. Fresh dough made daily, topped with our signature sauce. Three real cheeses, classic pepperoni, plus crispy cupped old world pepperoni. Pure pepperoni perfection for just $9.99, but for a limited time only. People, it's Reese's season. Football on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve, by today's military, and by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Boy, and Air Force is feeling it. Even General Clark is getting excited. He's a former Falcon football player nicknamed Bandstand. He's fired up because his offense has a chance to get themselves back in this thing. Handoff is clean. Jensen Jones in his first two snaps fumbles. Air Force somewhat has dodged it. It's still tied at 27. If you're Mike Thiessen, where do you go for yardage here and get yourself in a spot where you could kick a field goal and win this? You do just what you did there, which is get five yards on first down, handing it off through the A and B gaps. You don't want to put... Jones in a position where he's got to pitch it, minimizes ball handling. But here's the thing, Rich. When we were talking to Troy Calhoun, he said you can't give up on guys. His experience was that if you stick with a guy seven, eight, nine times, eventually he gets it, and that's being put to the test here. Third down three. Wyoming has loaded the box. Jones pitches. Eldridge breaks loose. Eldridge 40. Eldridge 20. Eldridge 10. He will go out of bounds at the one yard line. 57. Now they call it a touchdown. Unbelievable. 58 yards. Rich Craig Bowl has to be sick. I thought there was a hold out here on the perimeter. It's hard to see, but what's easy to see is John Lee Eldridge, when Air Force needed a play, steps up and delivers the biggest of this ball game. Only his third carry of the game, and he goes yard. That was a late call by the near side official. I'm surprised they're not reviewing that, or at least looking at it. 
He did not call it. He looked for help from another official, then signaled touchdown. What an amazing turn of events here. Look at the coach's box. What do you dial up if you're Mike Thiessen? You dial this up. He's well blocked at the point of attack. Caleb Holcomb, the right tackle with a good seal block on the second level. And then Eldridge's speed does the rest. Rich, that ball breaks on the inside of the pylon to me. It looks pretty clean. Man, he's had some big runs this season, but that takes the cake. His longest of the year was 65, and that was a house call. This one for 58 came just in time. Unbelievable. I mean, it absolutely looked like Air Force was in a bad place. They turned it over twice. Their starting quarterback out. Jones, not a lot of experience running it or throwing it. Well, Rich, there's two minutes and 17 seconds, and Wyoming has two timeouts. There's plenty of time for this offense and Andrew Peasley to have a chance to tie this thing up. Who knows? Maybe Craig wants to stay aggressive and goes for two and tries to end this thing in regulation if they can score but the falcons defense has been outstanding i mean air force has done everything they could to cough up the lead these are these are the two fumbles that they had coming in only two fumbles the whole year and then two fumbles in two plays but a missed extra point and then a missed field goal keeps them alive and they score on a long run so peasley now who was brilliant in the first half but air force in the second half much better defensively peasley flushed escapes still alive look at it fires it and it's dropped all of that work and he put it on Whelan's numbers. That was a remarkable job for the ending of a play to give it a chance. Whelan's got to bring that down. But Peasley's lucky he didn't get sacked. Oh, that ball hits him right in the money. And he'll be the first to tell you he should have had it. No question about that. Peasley's mobility has declined as this game has gone on. He's been limping since the first half. When he got tackled on a sack, he came up gimpy, and he just hasn't been the same since. Peasley setting, firing, and has a man. That's short of the first down, though. Sliding catch there by Trayton Welch. And this is where you have to calm yourselves down. You see Wyoming's trying to get up and go hurry up. You don't want to get yourself all flustered. You have time. You need to be urgent. Just don't rush. It's third and one, and they're going to throw. Peasley's throw in traffic. It's incomplete. And now it's fourth and one. Are you surprised they threw it there? I am. He had a check down to Scott to the right, who leaks out right here, but he's keeping his eyes downfield. He's waiting for him to break. But Jaden Goodwin was there. The ball game's coming down to this. If Air Force gets a stop, this bad boy may be over. Now, Wyoming does have two timeouts, so they would have a chance. You got a big back in Sam Scott. 6'2", 2'30". Fourth and one. Got to get just past the 35. They'll throw it again. Blitz comes. Beasley's in trouble. Unloads, and it's over! The head of Wheeland. And Air Force gets the football, a minute 38 left, and Wyoming is down to two timeouts. Twice with just a yard to get, they threw it. When Brian Knorr, the defensive coordinator, needs a play, he brings outside pressure. Look at the edges. Air Force sells out on this and forces an errant early throw in Peasley goes back to Whelan one too many times, puts too much air underneath it, and Wyoming turns the ball over themselves. That's just not a high percentage throw. You're sitting at third and one, you trust your offensive line, and you throw the ball twice for donuts.
which may be what's left on the clock. But here's the deal. Air Force is in, in field goal. They are. Range. And so they can put it out of reach. And obviously a first down here. Wyoming's going to wait to use a timeout. Second down and six. So this thing's going to be well under a minute. You should take the timeout now and try to stop this clock. They're going to get down to 50 seconds. Run the next play. And try to keep it in the high 40s. And Wyoming, Air Force Air Force to kick a field goal. and Wyoming can't stop the clock before the third down and before the fourth down. If it gets to that. There's a late push there. Easton Gibbs made the stop. Timeout. There's the timeout. So you're at 49, and you can stop it again after this play. Coming up next, we're headed to New York inside college football. Oh, a great day and night of college football, and this game has been just wonderfully competitive, big plays, twists and turns, and an unlikely Air Force touchdown with a backup quarterback and their offense lagging. John Lee Eldridge takes a, pit, a pitch, goes 55 yards. And then the defense stops Wyoming on fourth down. Wyoming needs to stop, obviously, here. What a game, partner. These two teams playing their tails off. So many swift uh, swings and momentum. Ball with the turnovers. Jensen Jones putting the ball on the ground twice. Wyoming's kicking game problems. Oh, man. It's brilliant play calling the, the special teams by the Falcons today. Jones is going to keep it in Jones! I can help him. Down to the 11. That's and that will ready. do it. What sweet revenge for Jensen Jones. The two fumbles hanging heavy on his shoulders. He made the pitch that led to the touchdown. And here, to win the game, he needed a first down, and he picks up 14. Nobody's ready for Wyoming. They were unclear on the call. They reduced themselves down pre-snap, thinking that ball was going to hit in the A-gap in the most unlikeliest, and how fitting that it's Jensen Jones' legs that has the game-saving run. <laughs> well, you said it. Joy Calhoun told us sometimes you got to stick with a guy and, and, and give him opportunities and stick with him, and, and at some point he's going to come through. And Jensen Jones did that. Still no report on Larrier's status. Of course, with Navy coming up next week, that's a big game. And Wyoming, who's been so good in their biggest of games. I mean, the double overtime win against Texas Tech, holding on in the fourth quarter to take down number 24, Fresno State. Felt like they were on their way. When Larrier was out, an extra point would have given them a one-point lead, and they missed it. Rich, special teams give it and take it away. Remember, out of state, Wyoming won that game because they blocked a kick and scooped it and returned it for a touchdown. Ball don't lie. The football gods respond. Hats off to Jensen Jones for hanging in there. And this Air Force team that's undefeated and sitting in pole position atop the Mountain West Conference. The Falcons are 6-0, 4-0 in the Mountain West. In the driver's seat for the Mountain West Championship game, they have won 11 straight, and they're on their way to Annapolis to take on Navy on CBS next week. Look at Air Force at 4-0. and And obviously, Larrier's report will weigh heavy on everybody. They, he's such a key part of their offense. No question about that. These two teams coming in were the teams receiving votes from the group of five. And look at this, man. What a celebration as they play celebration. I've never seen this where the cadets come on the field to join because the alma mater That's is coming right. up, the great tradition. Normally, it's just the players, but the cadets are getting in on this. And this is worth celebrating, Rich. That was an unbelievable. 
unbelievable gutsy win by this Falcon ball team. Well, Wyoming's not.